welcome friends to the beaver dam we are uh we are gonna have an interesting grand arena to say the least um so i don't think this is gonna be a hard grand arena but i think that like just looking at what we have I think we're going to make it to Kyber 2 the next uh, little bit, and I think we're going to hang out in Kyber 2 for 5v5, so we'll uh, we'll see what happens, but like this guy has two offensive Galactic Legends, and I don't assume he's going to be putting anything on offense, or on defense for Galactic Legend-wise. Um, you know, he has a Malgus, he has a Jedi Cal, he has a General Skywalker, he's a very offensive roster overall. His ships include Profundity, um... That's about it for, uh, you know, meta ships. Uh, we can take a quick look at his overall fleets. So he has his first order done. He doesn't quite have his empire done. So yeah, it's looking like he probably takes his profundity on offense, if I had to guess. So like, oh, he does have a, uh, a marauder. That's good for him. Good for him. It, profundity might be on defense. Either way, we have, a, we have a profundity counter, so... I don't think we'll have too many problems, but the big news is we did get the Sidious Kron as well as we have a little thing hiding in our defense, and I'm super excited for it. Uh, and that is we swapped out our Ray for a uh, Ray JTR Holdo instead of the Cal that we were using. These Cal's super nice, but let's let's pull up the numbers real quick. I want to show you guys this. Uh, so let's open up our GAC Insights for three v three. Uh, and so the defense lead is Ray. We're putting in JTR and we're putting in Holdo. Do battles. And then we're going to add in the defending Datacron set is Holdo. Do battles. So this makes Starkiller a 14% win rate. This makes uh, JMK a 60% win rate. Uh, we have JML at an 8% win rate. Uh, you know, SLKR at 50%, like, this, this is going to be super, super nice. <laughs> Jabba, 28%, so, uh, oh, uh, gosh, it's, it's gonna be good, it's gonna be good, I'm excited, so, let's, uh, let's see if he gets there. Unfortunately, he has not attacked yet, I was kind of excited to, like, finally be on the other end where I'm not attacking first and asserting dominance. But this guy is just, he knows that my MO, he knows that I have to attack first and assert dominance. And so here I am to do it. Uh, welcome to all of you that are here. We got Nova, we got Black Knight, Nex, welcome, welcome. Wet Pliskin, welcome. Griffin, welcome, welcome. Okay, so, drop, your opponent dropped two battles on my Ray and won me the gag. Oh, heck yeah, Nova. That's what we're hoping here. Uh, like, if, if yeah. I mean, basically both his GLs have less than a, like a 50% chance or less to lose against my Ray, which is wild. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so what we got here, we got a Son of Staros team. Um, I have an idea for that. Uh, we have a Night Sister team that's supposed to be real easy. We got a Hux, Dash... Uh, JTR, like you can tell, this is a, uh, a very much an offensive roster by all means. Uh, we got Seer Junda. Um, this one, I'm just going to Vader solo it. Uh, this one's actually kind of scary, so this one we're actually gonna have to take something semi good against. Uh, then we got a CLS up here, which we'll just Savage solo that like we normally do. Savage solo is a little scary when it comes to 3v3 because you just don't get nearly in as much turn meter. So we'll we'll take a look at kind of the win rate, and then we can Wampa this. Uh, I'm not worried about an Iden Versio in the back, because if there's an Iden Versio, we can throw SLKR, we can throw Sith Eternal, we can throw Bane. We have plenty of extra. Be scared of Hera. <laughs> right sure because it's not like these two are gonna just die off and then she'll just sit there by herself but yeah so not looking too bad so we'll we'll jump in with our uh, vader solo first you know because i'm shaking in my custom baby seal leather boots <clears throat> there might be geos in the back honestly but i mean this is a good solo so i'm not gonna give up a good solo uh, yeah, we'll give you that. Let's get our music in here. 
Uh, let's start off with our original song, our damn original song. I usually go in and do a single battle most of the time. My opponent does the same. Interesting. Uh, okay, let's let's throw our song in here because it has some Vader in there, so why not? Our very own damage song, the last day of the Republic. What if I told you that the Republic is now okay. in control of the Dark Lord of the Sith? Hundreds of senators are now under the influence of a Sith Lord, all Darth Sith. Regional governors now have direct control over their territories. Fear to keep the local systems in line. Fear of this battle station. Any attack made by the rebels against this station would be a useless gesture. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm shaking in my custom baby seal leather boots. <laughs> Oh gosh, Co cup solo. Honestly, with how easy that was, I'd believe it. Like, holy crap! Do you get like the first drop in the song? Nice. Hey, Swigo, welcome, welcome. So, sounds good, Griffin. You take care of what you got. Life always comes first. Um, okay, let's check the, um, overall on this. I, I want to check how that looks. Um, so, we're looking for CLS. And with 3PO and 2PO. Uh, and I want to see Savage. Okay, 70% win rate I'm willing to take. Okay. Bad timing. I'm sorry. I promise I'll get a stream that's good timing for you. Okay, where's our uh, Savage? <clears throat> Club Baby Seals. <laughs> Bright Raven, that is amazing. I would to Dude, I, I would help your GoFundMe as much as I can. I don't have a lot of money because I'm a college student, but I would do what I could to give you some money on a GoFundMe for that. Oh, <laughs> uh, gosh. So we're not gonna get anything from that. I'm not gonna care about that. I'm, I'm gonna go with this. Uh, uh No, we're good. Thank you though. Um. Okay. How strong is Darth Bane? Insanely strong. Hello. If you want to take a look, I just posted a YouTube short of one of the first times I used him, and yeah, it's just. He's so crazy, dude. And with the Datacron, he beats every team in the game right now. The only team I've struggled with is Jabba, and that's before Omicrons. So, uh, chat isn't in the corner. I wonder why. It should be. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, there we go. Got it fixed. Okay. <clears throat> Advocate Zarevan, welcome, welcome. Okay, let's uh, let's start passing around uh, Savage's wife, you know. Uh, first one to message in chat is the one that gets his wife. So we gotta focus down CLS first. You have done well, Okay, honestly, I'm just gonna throw it on auto because I think it'll just be faster. We will do great things together. 
I shall teach you the ways of the dark side. Oh, we're so close. Give me another turn. Dang it, you didn't hit it. Oh. Chupio, why didn't you hit me instead of blinding me? Okay, come on. Dude, Executor, just a GL ship on defense is always going to save your keister in so many situations. Hold on, I want the honors. I want the honors. <laughs> Give her to me. Oh, gosh. Okay. We are going in with the Wampa guys up next. Uh, first person to say which Wonga they want is the one that uh, gets it. So, Wonga one, two, or three. Brother, let us share our strength. No need for dominance between us. Always two there are, my brother. Dang. I didn't save an extra Kron for him. And an apprentice. Two it is, Wep. Hey, Travis. Welcome, welcome. Okay, uh, let's see. Ah, oh, Griffin, you're right. 45. Um, where is my Wongas? Wonga 2. only thing auto can do there's a couple teams that work fairly well on auto honestly darth bane works really well on auto honestly i could have taken a million and one things against this i could have probably taken jedi knight revan really easily against this Did I do it? It looks like I did it. Heck yeah, I got those banners back from the beginning. Uh, he's not super fast, I don't think. I don't actually remember how fast my Wampa is. Take a look. Uh, where's Wampa? Wampa, Wampa, Wampa. Wampa, Wampa. Womp, where did I miss you? You're in here somewhere, I promise. Okay. Over 9,000. Yeah, he's only at 239, so my Wampa isn't the fastest Wampa by any means. I should probably remod him. I haven't bothered to remod him since I got him. Or her, however you want to call it. Okay, so we've attacked first. We've asserted dominance. Now he's so far behind, there's no way he can catch up. To negate Droidica. Makes sense. Okay. Let's see. We got Seer. Um, what do we want to use for Seer? Seer is an easy clap with a couple teams. But it's such a low Seer that I don't want to waste teams for the problem. I have plenty of teams, though. I shouldn't be worried about wasting teams. So let's just kind of overkill this was that phrase uh Arnold says there ain't no over there there ain't no party like an overkill party um i think this is the one i got for these guys malik solo yeah i could probably malik solo this 
I don't want to... I don't want to test it, honestly. I'd rather just go for the full banners, and we'll focus on soloing teams on the back wall. Um, I, I'd rather not, you know, give him any extra banners, especially because he's a... Uh, he's not going to do good in my defense. So <laughs> ADP coming in with the 832 to get it back on track with the uh, zero zero in the number. Thank you, ADP. You are awesome. Okay. Uh, let's get Savior Conquer in here. Yeah, I wish I was as confident as you guys, but I don't have a lot of experience this year. Uh, yeah, let's go for Ahsoka. <laughs> Black Knight coming in with the 269. Gotta keep it weird. Oh, you guys are awesome. Uh, I just go for Seer. And full banners. I can accept 269. Yeah, the 69 makes it better, you know? And there's your guys' donations coming in. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Uh, okay. This is the one where we actually have to think about this and, like, throw something against this that's semi-good. Because Ahsoka makes this team annoying. One, two, three. One, two, three. We used our... Savage already, so we might as well just throw this in here. We are trying to use our Sith army. Um. Do something like that. Yeah, I think we could do this. Uh, where's our song for this? Uh, the, 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 Treya. I need to go through Takumi's music and see if I can't find some more Takumi's music. Because I do like Takumi's music, and there's a couple songs I don't have of his. I just need to go listen through and find the ones I like. Giant Knight Revan just focused on Cat. I hate doing Giant Knight Revan against a Padme team, though. Uh, Padme doesn't have one, actually, because there's not multiple versions of uh, Padme right now. And, like, her name is just one, like, one name, and so we don't actually have one that I've ever heard. I've heard that people are calling the new Padme Quadme for Queen Amidala or Queen Padme. not going well at all how did she hold on how did she get that so fast I thought it was a nine turn okay I gotta go read cat's kit I have no idea what I thought it was a nine turn cooldown how is she reducing it so fast I will protect myself from this and that stun on uh, on uh, Nihilus just kind of set us back. No, you don't get your song. You guys screwed up hard. The stun on Nihilus just definitely just fell apart. What just happened? Okay, hold on. Cat is one of the few characters that I don't know much about. I just know vaguely her kit. Um, okay, so this is the one that just gives extra bonuses, which we know about. Okay, Force Leap. Uh, turn meter. Uh, reduce it before uh, ability starts on cooldown. When this character evades or attacks out of turn, her cooldown is reduced by one.
She didn't evade anything, though. And she she could only attack out of turn once. With a Padme. So how did it reduce that fast? Yeah, it's a cooldown of 8. Says dealing for twenty percent more damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so even so, whoever has Xian also reduces the cooldown on Cat. Okay, okay, so it's not just okay. So if she puts it on Ahsoka, then Ahsoka keeps assisting. Got it. Okay, I understand now. Thank you. Well, that's a weird interaction that I've never actually looked at. Okay. Good to know. That explains why Ahsoka's so good with Padme. Because I've never understood why. I just kind of never paid attention. Because I don't see Padme with Cat very often. And I just kind of assume Cat kind of goes with people. Period. Okay. So we're going to have to throw something semi-good. Um, what can we just absolutely waste... Jedi Knight Revan actually wouldn't be bad. Here's my Jedi Knight Revan team. I did, we do have the Zeta now on um, Strength Flows. So we will also recover protection and gain foresight, which is super, super nice. So we'll have that going for us. Bane, Bane is so overkill for this. Like... It works, it's just so overkill. Like, I'd rather have Bane in our pocket just in case of something. I'd rather use SLKR here, honestly. Like, I don't even think I really need to give him another character, honestly. Dude, okay, so, Matt Master, I, uh, I went and watched it, like, 30 seconds before, okay, 30 seconds, it was five minutes before the stream started, because someone mentioned it in Nooch's chat while I was prepping for stream, and, like, dude, I am so incredibly excited for Tales of the Empire. The second season of Tales of the Jedi, for those of you who don't know, is named Tales of the Empire. They just dropped the trailer for it, and I am so freaking excited. It looks like the uh, main storylines are going to follow Morgan Elsbeth and Barriss Offey during the time of the Empire. And I am super excited. Like, it, oh, it's so cool. Like, uh, yeah. And seeing Thrawn in a black uniform was, like, just heaven to me. I've wanted to see that for so long. Okay, um, sorry. Th this should have zero problems, like, whatsoever. Um. Yeah, it looks so sick. Okay, um. Do I need a third person? No, we'll just duo this. Uh, honestly, we could probably solo it, but I just want to be careful because I don't want to drop any more battles. So, let's get more in here. More! Okay, I think that's everything. Yep, sweet. I'll take the 36 banners.
Okay, I didn't like how long that loading screen was. To the first order. I, yeah, I didn't like how long that loading screen is, so I'm going to actually uh, quit out of blue stacks entirely. And I'm going to reset my blue stacks because there is no way that we are losing out Bane on a crash again. I cannot wait till they add PC. Okay. There's no way I'm losing. Yeah, I, I refuse. Categorically refuse. Categorically? Categorically refuse. Playing, playing. I, I don't need to save uh, Jedi Knight Luke. I've got enough teams by far. Start stalling, but they don't reboot. Yeah, no, I I refuse. K okay, Beaver. Also, good to see another Someday Beaver here. Be. Be. Uh, -uh. it's not time for your new empire. Sorry, buddy. Uh, okay, because of what we saved, we have some fun things to play around with. Uh, specifically. Uh, hey, Nasty Balls, welcome, welcome. Uh, because we used Kylo Ren that way, we have our Hux team for this, which is, like, a really good counter for this, from what I understand. Um, and so, yeah, I think we'll have plenty of stuff, but here's my options really quick for you guys. I'm going to throw up a poll for you guys, uh, on this right here. Because I could Sith Eternal this. But also, we do have Sidious. And if I recall correctly, um, Malgus? Uh, we'll add the extras. With you two. And then lead, we're using Darth Sidious. And then we use exact. 85% win rate. So, this is what I'm thinking about trying. I've, I've never done this before, but I think it would be a lot of fun. So, I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Uh, I'm going to pop up a poll. So basically, are we using uh, Papa Palpatine or are we using Basic Palpatine? Stolo Radis with Sith Eternal. Genius. <laughs> but yeah, let, let me reread the, uh, the Datacron. I don't have the best mods for my Sidious. I need to work on my Sidious mods for this. Uh, but, okay, so whenever a dark side ally resists a debuff, they recover 2% health and protection. That's not really going to help me in the CM battle. Whenever enemies are damaged at the start of their turn, Sith allies gain 2% turn meter. So I'm going to, you know, get some solid, uh, turn meter. Uh, I do need to re-roll this one. There are no other, so he gains 200% um, <laughs> defense, health steal, max health, max protection, 100% counter chance, crit chance, and 100 speed. Holy shiz. He's immune to daze and stun, but he's not immune to fear. Interesting. Okay. At the start of his turn, dispel all debuffs on him and resets cooldown, so fear doesn't really matter besides missing a turn maybe at some point. Whenever he uses a basic ability, inflict just damage over time for one turn, which can't be resisted. Whenever he uses a special ability, dispel all buffs on all enemies. Holy crap. <laughs> enemies can't attack or assist again if... Uh, if he is targeted at start of each turn, if they have at least five stacks of damage over time, instantly defeat them. Uh, whenever an enemy is defeated, he recovers 100% health and protection. Jeez, okay. <clears throat> Just do C on the gas. Yeah, that's fair, that's fair. Okay, so I'm gonna close. Uh, he needs full potency. I think he'll be fine. 
I think he'll be fine. It'll be okay. Everyone wants to see City as solo. Let's do City as solo. If we can't have our fun, then what's the point? I Let's get a song for this guy. I'm trying to think of what song we want to use. Because we have a lot of Palpatine songs. Uh, but that means we have to like actually decide uh, what one we want. So I'm going to say do it. Oh yeah, the Tales of the Empire trailer looks so dope, dude. We were just talking about that. I thought not. Never hear the tragedy of Mouse. No, I thought not. I thought This is so stupid. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Oh, this city is crowd is so stupid. Okay, uh, well we got a second. So it says whenever an enemy is defeated, he recovers 100% health protection. Does that mean that he'll always get full banners? Dang, because he had shock, he, uh, he missed out on the health, but he got the protection. So yeah, basically, if he doesn't have healing immunity, or he doesn't have uh, shock, or he kills the enemy on his turn after he's dispelled all of that, he basically is guaranteed full banners. That's insane. Holy crap, guys. That is so cool. Gosh. Okay, so that means we can just throw Sith Eternal right here and call it a day. Like, I don't, I don't even want... I don't even see a point in using a uh, watt. Let's use get those full banners. Yeah, sure, that works. <laughs> Why don't we make a uh, a DC that combines Wampa and Nihilus? Exactly. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that was that was insane, dude. Okay, uh, let's do roll it. I like roll it. Just going straight from uh, from baby Palpatine to Papa Palpatine. Let's go. Uh, I will throw it on Echo because he's assisting. Uh, basic. Dang, I'm gonna have to go through another Anakin. That's unfortunate. That's the problem with not having uh, Rex and Fives on this, is it makes it a little bit more annoying. Uh, but it's fine. Uh, let's get through Echo. Throw it on you. Okay, there. Now go bye bye. Bye bye. Uh, now there are two of them? Yeah, I'm sure we can find a spot for that, Griffin. 100%. Our next battle where we don't have a song or it mildly fits, like we're doing a duo, I will throw it in. Give me my banners. Give me my banners. Oh, you're a pain, Anakin. Fine. Fine. <clears throat> okay. 
uh, Adrad. We usually use Darth Revan for this or uh, Bounty Hunters. I'm guessing we'll use Bounty Hunters. Um, that's right. We still have our Keller and Beck crawling lying around as well. Oh my gosh. We got Bane lying around. We got Keller and Beck lying around. We got GG. Like... We got Star Killer. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, Bounty Hunter this because typically Bounty Hunters is a full banner win. And we want to stick to full banner wins as much as we can. Especially because we dropped a battle. Why do I have ID IG88? What team did I pull them off of? I don't know. <clears throat> don't forget Farm Scrap Upgrade. Uh, these guys, I mean, they don't have a really specific song, but so I'm I'm fine with this, especially because we're gonna inskill Adrad, and then now there'll be two of them. Uh, do you remember what that song's called, though? I don't recall what it's called. That's the there it is. It's called two of them. Got it. Uh, let's see if we got a emotional support cron for these guys. Um, this is my. Malkron. I don't want to use protection up. Honestly, uh, this actually might be fairly good just to keep him alive. So we're going to use that. Uh, but yeah, let's do it. Putting in some solid work. Younglings, is that legal? <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, just stun him. Oh gosh. Okay. Still, still doing solid. We don't want to sleep on this, but this is also not a great team. So, gosh, I have so much. Okay, let's take a look at the top wall and see if there's anything scary before we kind of start taking teams. We know for a fact, Sonastaros, we're planning on doing the uh, Hux counter. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Where's Hux? Hux lobster and you and we will give you something ooh a little bit of crit damage uh what has more crit damage this one let's take some crit damage lost by five banners oh that's so sad next i'm sorry dude okay let's take a look yeah, I'm going to assume this is fine. Um, sure, because I don't have a song for these guys, because we already used more once today, I am 100% down to do Farm Scrap Upgrade for you next. Let's do it. Ooh, not quite enough. Uh, let's pass it to you. Do that. There we go. Uh, and now we just gotta wait for the perfect moment, which is... 
Ooh, right there. I was gonna say we gotta wait for the uh, for the buff to spell, but no, she dropped it off. Can we do Great to Be in the Empire? I don't have that one because it's his like main theme, so I just never bothered to grab it. Sorry, Black Knight. Uh, McAir, welcome, welcome. Gak's going good. Um, the guy put very little on defense, honestly. He's a very offensively focused um, roster, and so we're not having any problems, honestly. Like, this is all pretty easy. right next to him, isn't he? Yeah. Then give me those three wacky numbers. Okay. Uh, let's get our Luke in here. You got a whale. Oh. Oh. I would say, oh no, we started early, except I don't think this battle's gonna go on very long, guys. <laughs> uh, sounds good, ADP. You have a great day. Thanks for joining us while you could. you do do not die okay now die full banners I forgot Padme what about Padme yeah I mean Padme was an okay team yeah you're not wrong Padme was an okay team same with Malgus Malgus was an okay team on defense but it's just it's going good Okay, we already used our bounty hunters, unfortunately. Um, but we still have gas. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. We gotta have our fun somewhere, right, guys? We gotta have our fun somewhere. Okay, let's get... Uh, there's always a bigger fish. almost just want to hit it and see if I can kill him. Because how much is that? That's 5% offense. That is 156, 155%. Honestly, Keller and Beck could probably solo this. Um, we'll just hit. Uh, yeah, just go ahead and hit him. Yeah, honestly, I could have hit that other ability and killed him off. I'm almost positive. Yeah, just kill him. Um, yeah, let's hit that. Oh, Keller and Beckron's so stupid right now. Okay, so Dash Rendar. We still have Bane. We still have Imperial Troopers. We have so much lying around. This is not how Kyber 3 should go, guys. <laughs> Okay. Our last fully relic team. Um. <laughs> oh gosh. How would you use it, this gack? Like this? <laughs> it's so overkill though. Like, holy crap, I have no idea how I'd use him in this gack that's actually, like, a reasonable use of Bane. Starkill with the Akbar sounds great, yeah, let's do it. Like, I don't care. I got nothing to use Ak- or, I don't got nothing to use him on. Oh, gosh. Bane solo on worst enemy. Oh, gosh. Okay, hold on. Just, just a little bit of overkill. Just- just a wee bit, you know. It's gonna be a close match, I promise. Uh, 
Uh, give me just a sec, guys. I'm gonna have to pull up the song for Bane. Um. <laughs> oh, gosh. I feel like it's a little quiet. We're gonna up it up. Oof, that's rough. It, Ray is also one of those ones that he struggles with regardless. You put Jabba, Leia, Lord Vader all on defense and Opal Clear. Okay, let's see. If I had Jabba, Leia, and Lord Vader all on defense, I'd have... Ooh, that is a good question. Because those are like the three galactic questions that are rough. Uh, okay. Might as well just kill them all. <laughs> that was so close, guys. I am sweating bullets. Like, I'm on the verge of tears with how close that was. Like, oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. My heart is palpitating, my friends. <laughs> oh gosh, that was so sad. Uh, okay, so what did you guys say you wanted here? Imperial Troopers, was that it? No, no, it was Starkiller. I can't wait another month. We should pass around like Safaj's wife. Oof. <laughs> Should have soloed more banners. That's the thing, though, is um, if we solo, we lose out on a lot of the damage, a lot of the health, uh, as well as the uh, the ability to uh, take that first turn. Uh, and so it actually might have dropped us a banner just by soloing. So that's that's the problem. That's why I did it next. This is not what I want. Where is uh, pull it out of this guy? Even though this is way overpowered. Here, have an emotional support, Kron. Yeah, if I were to have a Jabba, a Leia, and a Lord Vader all on defense, I would do SLKR versus Jabba, I'd do Bane versus Leia, and then I would do... Who would I do Lord Vader with? I'd probably try to two-shot Vader and just kill off his side pieces and then uh, use a um, maybe like Sith Eternal his side pieces and then I'd go in or uh, maybe Starkiller and then I'd go in with um, Imperial Troopers to clean it up so Bane versus nothing <laughs> oh gosh okay let's see um, let's just I mean, I, I'm assuming I'm not going to have any problems here. I'm ready. Oh, gosh. This is another battle that's just... I, like, I don't know if my heart can take it, guys. Starkiller didn't even get a turn. <laughs> oh, gosh. Who do I have left? How fast is your dash, Rendar? If you're up this high, you gotta be modding at least somewhat good. 297 plus an additional 10? And nothing else, right? Scores a critical hit. Yeah, just an additional 10 speed. So he totals out at 307? Yeah, I'm thinking Maul. Um, we're going to use Impies, I think, on the other team. No, we're not going to use Impies at all today. Yeah, so I'm thinking Maul, and just call it a day with Maul, because Maul's just going to stomp this. We're going to skip out on Imperial Troopers entirely today. Yeah, we just do this. And add in our Datacron. 
Clay Holmes pitched the ninth inning of a baseball game. Dude, I I wish I could vibe with you. I'm just going to say, yeah, absolutely, dude. 100% agreed. I don't know anything about baseball, honestly. I, it, so where I grew up, I grew up in Alaska. In Alaska, there's no such thing as baseball teams. Uh, we don't have, like, state championships or club teams, but I was in. We don't have fields anywhere. And so baseball just wasn't a thing up in Alaska. So, like, I know a little bit about football, but baseball is the sport I know the least about. <clears throat> Do a solo, more banners? Yeah, but Dash is not a person you want to try and solo. Especially because I don't have any of the good solo characters for this. So I'd rather just hang out with the full banners and call it a day. He's like the di in 3v3 the difference between a solo and a full team is 57 to 59 which is not nearly as much but um oh I'm over doing college in Idaho right now McAir um where is it uh there it is <laughs> Oh gosh. There's been no one for so long, 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 so long. Who are you? You, 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 you. Only die, 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 die. Fall, fall. Who, who, who? Die, die, can you be? Only die, 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 die. Fall, fall. Who, who, who? Die, die, can you be? That is not the shit I weigh, 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 weigh. What time are you? Is my math wrong? I'm so confused. Hey, Destroyer of Worlds. Choice. Anyone? Anyone know what just happened there? Has led you to this. I see the pedal one needs one last lesson. Revenge. Yeah, we're probably not even gonna get through Zalbar with that daze. Let's go all in now. <clears throat> Your math is not mathing. You were correct. What what happened with my math there, guys? Does Zalbar mission give more speed? I need to understand this for the simple reason that I need this. Uh... Uh, so the way the roster reviews work. Oh. Hey. <laughs> I didn't know I was still working towards that challenge. <laughs> I'll take it. Heck yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, so how they work, I will throw out my little thing for you guys. Um, I love you, Darth Maul, but we're going to turn you down just because you're blowing my ears out. Okay. So let me get this out here for you guys. See, and then I need our chat. We okay. So, pinning it now, but you can either pay five dollars for a roster ro roast of your account or another account, or uh, you can uh, pay any amount and you get a roster review out of a super chat. But roster review priority is it happens after Grand Arena, and the priority is people that are getting live roster review. So that is our members. Um, people who are uh, super chatting are going to be number two, and then people in Discord, and so we have a little spot in the Discord, you can go to the description to find the Discord uh, link and go there. Uh, and then I go through all those, and then if we have time, we do people in chat. So, I did asteroid math right there. No, because like I thought it was only a plus 10 speed. Or I'm, I'm going to figure this out, because I'm really confused. He's used at 297. Uh, where's Dash Rendar? We're gonna go to our scoundrel tag. Uh, dash, 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 dash Rendar. Okay, 20%, whenever. Prayer Dolly scores a critical hit. So they're not gonna score a critical hit first turn. If the battle's prepared, Prayer Dolly's game just double. 
Oh, that's where I'm missing it. Double for light side allies. And so that plus 10 speed becomes a plus 20 speed. Yeah, it's it's because I took into account the plus 10 speed, but I didn't take into account that it's doubled for, uh, for light side allies, so it's a plus 20 speed. So he was actually at... Uh, 317, which I think is actually where we have our mall, and so it was a coin flip to see who took first turn. Uh, let's check Mandalorians. Uh, yeah, it is Death Destroyer of Worlds. Did you just notice that we like share a Discord or something? Yeah, okay, so he is one speed faster than us. Did I put the wrong Discord link in? Let me check. I might have the wrong Discord link in. I thought I fixed it, though, because we had this problem the other day. Invite people. Copy. Let me go fix it again. Yeah, that's a guild Discord server. I don't know why it's sending people there because that is not what I had it on. Uh, let me go fix that in my stuff. I don't know why it's doing that because it was doing that the other day too, and I like literally went and clicked on the leak myself, and it brought me to the Discord that's mine, and I was like, okay, so it's working, right? Here, let me uh, let me fix the the link. That's my bad. Get rid of that and get rid of. And okay, it is back in uh, in the details. Hold on. Let me fiddle with this. Okay. Dude, Tales of the Empire looks so good, Swishy. Thank you for the 199, by the way. You are awesome, my friend. Um, but yeah, so the Discord link should be fixed now. I apologize for that. I don't know what was happening. Um, but can someone click on that link and just make sure that it's working now? I don't know why it wasn't and why it was giving me the other server. Invite people. Yeah, so this is the right rules yeah edit uh, never okay we're gonna try that one more time I think I think what happened is discord might have updated at some point and completely screwed my links because it looks like none of my settings are the same anymore and so I just had to redo the link again and I'm gonna go fix it in my notes as well because it was just a week-long link as well, which is no bueno. Okay, you joined the dam. Perfect. Yeah, I don't know why I was doing that. That was my bad. Sorry, guys. I don't know why. Okay. And there's Swooshy's donation. Thank you so much, my friend. Oh, gosh, it is hot in my apartment. Okay, I'm going to go turn on my AC real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. Pop a refresh on that node, you're dying. Dude, that's the thing, though. <laughs> I've already refreshed it three times. I'm putting three refreshes into Paz right now. Uh, okay. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry for that mix-up. Okay. Um... We figured out why Maul went uh, second. Okay, we're good now. All, all is fixed. My life isn't a lie. We are good. <laughs> oh, gosh.
Okay, another another one that's gonna make me sweat, dude. I gotta say. Uh, this is the one that we got for this guy. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna give you guys an option. Oh, I don't know how I feel about this one. Yes, versus. No, no. I was gonna suggest a solo, but I don't trust a solo enough. We're just gonna take it in. Okay, sounds good. Death Destroyer Worlds. If, if you can, also put your like current and previous farm in your favorite team. <clears throat> Yeah, I could have soloed that one. Honestly, I could have soloed that one. I would have had zero problems soloing that one. But. Okay. We're on to ships. And there's that profundity. Okay, we thought we had a profundity back here. I hate this. Oh, oh never mind. This is a crap team. I was going to say, I hate this team when there's a... Um, tie defender and with the uh, tie interceptor, this is a pain. Yeah, that was real close, McAir. Once again, my heart was palpitating. Why do you think we used all three versions of Palpatine this uh, this this go around? Get it? Pal palpitations? No. Okay. <clears throat> um, sorry, this is profanity. So we, we got to use our Chimera here, so if I recall correctly, this is our lineup. There's our Empire. And then we need you, you, and you. <sighs> okay. So there's our team. And we call... Ooh. Ooh. That could have been bad. That could have been bad. It's Executrix is your uh, lead. Not um, not Chimera. Right? I, I don't know why I don't ever use these. Yeah, right here. Voila. Gosh. There are six Palpatines in Swago. Technically. <laughs> Technically. <laughs> uh, that took me a second, Arctic Gaming. Uh, so I just re recently unlocked SLKR. Thank you, Lightspeed Bundles. And I had no idea how amazing to counter SLKRs against Jabba. Yeah, dude, it is straight fire. Like, a lot of people are like, oh, you know, Jabba's so hard. But it's like, the moment you get SLKR, he's like, nope. He's just super easy. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah. SLKR is awesome. I love him to death. He's my favorite GL at the moment. <clears throat> okay. So this is going to be a stressful battle. Uh, let's get our music in here. Okay, everyone. Take a deep breath. Manifest the win. I've only done this once in Grand Arena.
It's unfortunate losing out Vader. That was very unfortunate, but we'll deal with it. Um, yeah, so we need the TIE Bomber to start pushing back. And then we're just kind of basic. Yeah, with Vader, he would be already dead by now. Like, this is very unfortunate RNG. So we might actually lose this. Let's throw this out here and make sure everyone's screwed. Solid dodge. Oh. This is not going too hot, guys. No idea. <laughs> so, okay, I do have an idea. I, I will explain. The reason that you use Palp's shuttle in the opening... Uh, yeah, so we killed all their reinforcements, so they got nothing left. It's just those two ships. Um, so the reason that Palp's shuttle survived as long as he did is because whenever a, uh, or an Empire ally is critically hit with... Uh, get out of here, boss nass. Uh, whenever a, uh, an Empire... I keep trying to say Sith. Whenever a, It might be Sith or Empire. But it's whenever an Empire ally uh, gets critically hit, they gain protection up. Uh, and because the Radis' ultimate is all based around critically hitting, they just keep critically hitting. And so they just keep giving protection up, which is why you have it in the starting lineup, is to cause that interaction. So... <clears throat> But well, this should be super easy. Like, yeah, we didn't get out these two, which are kind of the main engine of the team. But that's the thing is it's just those two. Once you have Y-Wing out, you're basically good to kill everything. Yeah, easy cleanup, easy cleanup. So I'm more worried about these two fleets right now, and we'll kind of come back to this one. Um... I'm thinking finalizer here. What do we have left? I'm trying to think of what we have left. We have Negotiator, we have Home 1, we have Finalizer. I'd rather use Negotiator against Radis. Um, what are we looking at? We can't afford to use Home 1 against this. That's the problem. So I'm thinking a home one mirror match. Why is Boss Nass still going? My brain's just not working today. Um, okay. So this is what I'm thinking. And I think it'll work. I don't know anything about Raven's Claws, the problem. Uh, I probably didn't put Rebel Y-Wing. Thanks for mentioning a Death Destroyer, because I literally, you said that, and my brain just flashed back to the image I had in my head, and I'm like, that's that doesn't seem right. There we go. <clears throat> yep. 
I got it, Death Destroyer. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to assume we don't need anything else. I have no idea how this is going to go, but I'm going to assume it works. Yeah, that was some poor RNG on Profanity. We've had some poor RNG the last couple of weeks. Um, let's get Piston out of here. So close. Come on. Just finish off you. Um. Okay, no problems there. Um, so then we finalize her this. Uh, this is the wrong order. I believe it's the darker one. I'll, I'll just use my uh, third. Yep. Okay. Let's uh. Let's use uh, our song one more time, because we didn't really get to use it last time, because we absolutely demolished what we were going against way too fast. So, uh, what if I told you that let's use our song. I bought in my Star Killer against Dash, thinking it would be Dark. easy. Yeah, I got wrecked. Sith. Oof. Oof. Regional That's painful. Uh, let's, come on, come on, let me, uh, 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 there we go. Uh, let's hit that. Um, Let's just hit that. Oh, I was hoping the TIE Fighter would go out with that. That's fine. Um, hit that. Basic. Get a stun. Solid. Okay, we got the TIE Fighter out. Oh, interesting. Not dealing with that today. The end of a regime that acquiesces to disorder. At this very moment, in a system far from here, the new republic lies to the galaxy. See the gameplay through my body? Yeah. It's because I'm wearing a black shirt. Uh, when I wear a black shirt or a dark color shirt, sometimes you'll be able to see through me because my camera doesn't quite pick up the edges of my body. So... Yeah, it's it's my program trying to remove the background. So I'm actually a ghost and I always have been in case you guys were wondering. But uh anyways. Did you come back to say forgive me? Save my soul. Okay. 
Uh, first person to say it, either uh, um, I have the high ground, uh, or hello there, or Babu Frick. Those are our three options. First person to say which one they want. None of us are real anyways. Dude, I would... Oh my gosh. I've been losing my mind this entire time. I don't have any, you know, subscribers. I don't have anything. I'm making all of this up. I just am seeing things. I'm not even playing on a computer right now. I'm just going insane, you know? That'd be hilarious. Okay, Wep coming in. Wep is fast on the draw. Coming in with the Babu Frick. Okay, and then if the... I mean, the, I'm assuming the battle end, will end pretty quickly. But if it doesn't, then we'll swap into... Uh, who was the second one? High ground? High ground. <clears throat> okay, uh, let's see. How much do I actually want to bring in? Let's just bring in Plo Koon. Um, extremely close. I was there first on your screen. Uh... Don't worry, we'll play high ground as well. Twenty fifty one with two dropped battles, we still got twenty fifty one. Heck yeah. Putting in some solid work, guys. I'm gonna be kinda sad if this guy doesn't show up. He only has two hours to do so. <clears throat> quick side update for you guys. Uh, let's pull it up real quick. But yeah, the, uh, you know, our, uh, our free-to-play, our damn free-to-play, it's our free-to-play that we allow our members to choose where it goes, and it's crazy how much CG has perfectly manipulated my life, <laughs> because we decided to go for, um, Gene Ocean Brood Alpha to help out our guild and get them unlocked, and so I've been trying as hard as I can to get them unlocked. Especially pre-level 85, so that way we can make sure we have them for Grand Arena as a defensive team. And, uh, we're getting close to level 85, really excited. But then, like, <laughs> the frickin' login calendar for the bonus is Geonosian Brood Alpha. <laughs> And then on top of that, they did a uh, Galactic uh, Challenge, also Geonosian Brood Alpha. <laughs> and so we're at 70 of 80 after just a couple days. So we're looking at a Geonosian Brood Alpha very quickly, which is a super, super good beginner team. So that'll be my defensive team. So currently, I kind of have it split up into two overall things, which um, is going to be Geonosian Brood Alpha, uh, so the Geos as defense and then we're gonna have a scoundrel team with a uh, BT and trip on defense uh, and then I think that'll be a basically it for our defense and then our offense is going to be Imperial Troopers uh, Savage Oppress with the Omicron and uh, a Phoenix team so it's it's looking solid for our Grand Arena already I mean, I'm already in a pretty solid guild. We just combined with another guild, and so, yeah, we're at 200k GP. Or 200 mil GP, rather. So, 
we're I'm in a pretty good guild right now. I'm just, you know, not quite pulling my weight, and Gene Ocean Brudolph will allow me to try and do that, so. I don't have enough for the Poggle Omicron because I am dropping the Savage Omicron first. Um, but, you know. This will be another Grand Arena we'll be doing every single uh, stream here pretty soon, so keep an eye out. Okay. We're going to jump into... Uh, you got credit highs for your birthday. Is it your birthday today? Happy birthday, my friend. I'd sing for you, but no one wants to hear that. <clears throat> I got stomp. I can, uh, you know, I can sing it in sign language. Uh, 994 to 2024. That's rough, death. Okay, we're gonna jump into roster reviews though, so make sure you have your rosters in the my gosh, like every time I'm streaming, are you are you just lurking in my streams? Is that what's happening? Okay. <clears throat> credit heist should be every day. Dude, that credit heist actually helped a ton for this account because you know, we're always out of credits in general, and we're always, you know, purchasing more credits from the uh the guild activity store. Uh, it's one of the best uses of our credits right now. Together. Uh, 40, 50, 30. Uh, I think that might be one. 40, 40, 10, 25. Okay, I'm going to grab this just in case. I think I am officially... No, get out of here. I don't care about you, Ray. Um, but I'm officially done with everything I need for Savage, which is super, super nice. That's the thing, though, is you get to a point where you have just way too many ship credits at all times. It's like right after you get your like fourth capital ship, you're going to have so many ship credits and nothing to do. Oh, dude, death. I am so jealous. I've only gotten that once. But yeah, so that, that is super helpful for this account because I got people that I'm trying to level up um, just to get them usable. Like we got Hondo and Naka. We got our uh, our uh, Imperial Troopers that we're working on right now. Um, I'll just get you to 70. Uh, because like I've got a plenty of these purples right now. But like I can't spend them right now because of the fact that I just didn't have the credits to level people up. Uh, we'll up you to 72. But yeah, once once teams are kind of like in that level 70 area, you kind of have some solid teams. Like, you're not going to be overly worried. Uh, so, I, I do appreciate the credit heists when they come around. They they make this make free-to-play possible by far. Um, let's see. Okay, so we have our Geos leveled up. I think it's just Imperial Troopers that we're working on. Yeah, Imperial Troopers and then my Scoundrel team that I want on defense. So... You're, I'm dark side farming ooh Jabba right now that's that's rough dude yeah that bonus chest is so nice that's what's gotten me so much uh, we'll bring you up to 72 okay don't use leader ability Uh, Gak went great, dude. Um, well, actually, as our stream's going, this is our first time doing this, but as our stream's going, we'll be able to check in and see how our opponent's doing. See when he comes in, because, you know, this is our first time attacking on this day instead of the day before. So, we, uh, we ended with a 20-51 with two dropped battles. Uh, the first one was kind of my fault. I shouldn't have underestimated the team. The second one was RNG dependent, so I'm not even mad. So... <clears throat> Sweet, our Moth Gideon is now finished. Like, we're, we're getting close to having some seriously solid stuff. Um, I think next on our list, kind of just overall, is just getting our Scoundrel team up and running. I'm trying to figure out who I want to use as a, uh, as a Scoundrel lead for our BT and Trip. Uh, because, you know, there's not anything there. I'm thinking just we do Boba Fett for now. But, I don't know. We'll, we'll kind of see. So... Uh, who's the other one? Poggle. Poggle is one that we really need to level up a little bit.
There we go. And we're out of purples now, and we're doing solid. So, only need a few upgrades for some ships, yeah. Yeah, if someone tried to put their ally code in the chat and they use dashes, it will, it'll just auto-moderate it. Make sure you put X's. Okay, let me get rid of all of my windows. Okay, now I got you guys. Okay, so... We're going to start off... Team's way too much. I always try and take out the defenses as cheaply as possible and always fails miserably. Yeah, that can be a serious problem. Honestly. <clears throat> Okay. We got our main account back to this. Let's check what Leg has to say. <laughs> uh, blue. No, wait. Yeah, no. I, my favorite color is blue at the moment. Okay, so we have a person who has requested a roster roast, and so we're going to get that done first. Dashes between ally codes. <laughs> oh, that's great, Arctic Gaming. The problem is, though, only, uh, only members could use it. Okay, so I'm just supposed to roast this account. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, so let's kind of take a look at the mods because that's always the first thing I look at when I roast an account. I have no idea who this guy is. This person just sent it to me. I don't even think he sent me his name. Yeah, I not even a username or anything. So, let's uh, let's jump in and look. Two ninety nine, not bad, not bad. Okay, check Mace Windu. Honestly, modding is pretty good for how small this uh, this roster is. So let's just go go through. Okay, come on, dude. You bought the Lightspeed bundle, but you're not working on your Supreme Leader Kylo Ren whatsoever? What are you doing, dude? Like, the... Uh, what? Like... Uh, bro. You are so close to your first GL that could do so much for your account, but you are sleeping on SLKR so hard. Dude, that could... That could give you more Chirotex every month. That'll give you a GL on your defense. That'll help out your guild. Oh my gosh, dude. Stop sleeping on your light speed bundles. Oh. You have a two star Captain Rex with not even fully leveled up gear. Like, yeah, you. <sighs> You spent money for light speed bundles and then are just like, you know what? I just wanted to just take the the let's see. We'll we'll count it up for you. Let's let's take a look just how much you threw in the garbage. Yeah, so you you have the uh the finalizer bundle. So yeah, you're not taking advantage of your Phoenix, you're not taking advantage of your first order. You bought the finalizer bundle and the SLKR bundle it looks like. Uh so that's what forty dollars thirty dollars i think 40 40 total you just decided hey let's take these two twenty dollar bills and just light them on fire like uh do you even have bam leveled up for your scoundrels because you need a, a leader for your scoundrels no you got nothing for your scoundrels your bam is level one gear one dude stop sleeping on your light speed bundles your account could be gorgeous right now. Instead, you're just sleeping. Dude, are you asleep at the wheel? 
Oh my goodness. Okay, let's take a look at your capital ships. I'm guessing this is why. Yeah, this is why you haven't gotten yourself a, uh, uh, a finalizer, which makes sense. But like, dude, these light speed bundles were a while ago. Where is your echelon? Like, you need your echelon. You need your special forces TIE fighter. You already have the characters leveled up. Get the ships. Yeah, like, I, I get it. Revan is a passion project, and I 100% get it. I went for it, too. But also, Mace Windu is just a really wild, just random Relic 6 to have. Um, just that That is just so odd for a just random Omicron. Also, the fact that you have the Treya Omicron, but not the Savage Omicron. You don't even have Watt Ready Geos for your guild. Like, dude, you got some work to do. But first things first, please, please stop sleeping on your light speed bundles. You know, get yourself a scoundrel leader so your scoundrels are at least usable. Um, get yourself a Rex with, you know, level 6 abilities. Like, uh... Check the mods on any other character. Uh, we'll check usable characters. <laughs> you can't leave it? <laughs> Uh, I, I'll, I mean, what do you mean you can't leave it? You just click leave server. <laughs> like this, uh, this makes sense because credits, like. Never mind, it doesn't make sense because of credits, dude. Six additional speed, seven, seven additional speed. With a speed set on. Bro. Bro. Like, even this has no speed. I'll, I'll make sure you get kicked, Death. I, I will, uh, I'll talk to some people and get you kicked. Just, uh, make sure that you're, uh, like, I know who, what your username is and I'll make sure you get kicked from it. Yeah, like, bro, okay, stop sleeping on your light side bundles, stop, or at least light speed bundles, stop, just, uh, start modding, um, please, for the love of all this, holy, go to my channel, go to my mod section, and get the mod filter off of that video I have for farming mods, start following that, please throw a couple crystal refreshes into mods, but stop sleeping on your light speed bundles, that's the biggest thing that I'm seeing right here. Like, I, I get having a, a PP, you know, Jedi Knight Revan is a solid PP to have, but you need, you need to stop sleeping on your light speed bundles. Um, all of this is courtesy of Next Reaper, by the way. Um, but yeah, stop sleeping on your light speed bundles. Get, get yourself an echelon. Get yourself a special forces tie. Even before you're uh, getting your finalizer, you should be doing that. Start working on your SLKR immediately get that bam at least to gear nine so you can just use him as a leader because you don't have a leader for these scoundrels that you have lying in your roster take advantage of what you have Ugh. okay sounds good death destroyer i'll make sure someone kicks you uh what's this What? Hold on, we got some Star Wars news. We are thrilled to announce the team's working on a standalone PC client for Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. What is the PC client? Our goal as the PC client is to give more players more ways to enjoy their time on the hollow tables and seamless cross-platform experience. This will allow you to play between handheld and desktop without missing a single beat. That's super, super nice, honestly. Some initial benefits of the PC client is to support more native PC features such as specific re resolutions, keyboard, and mouse support. That's nice. Better frame rate, anti-aliasing, and other PC quality of life changes. The core gameplay experience of Galaxy Heroes remains unchanged with the PC client. Makes sense. Once we're ready to showcase the client, we'll be hosting a closed beta, which we are aiming to release later this year for the opportunity to participate in the closed beta, you need to sign up on our closed beta registration page, which I have already linked in my last video, so you can go check the link right there, or you can go to my Discord under the Swigo News, and there should be a link right there as well. Uh, how to set up EA app account? Uh, I already have done that. Team is excited, looking forward. Starting today, yeah, you'll receive an invitation email from if you are selected. Stay up to date on the latest. Uh, okay, sweet. 
pushing for executor sounds good jared uh we do do discord uh roster reviews first so if you want first priority we're going to go through the discord stuff first and then we'll move on to uh whoever is left in the chat okay uh let's get on to our next roster review We have Death Destroyer of Worlds is up next. Let's uh let's do him. Current farm is Leviathan Wild. Okay, so you're a, a larger account, so Kyber two. <laughs> You're welcome, Healer WR. <laughs> bro, bro, stop sleeping on those light speed bundles, I beg you. You could have a roster that it has so much progress without any work, and you're sleeping on it. Okay, yeah, this is definitely... It looks like you're getting towards Kyber 1, my friend. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So you said that your current farm is Leviathan JKCK. Looking at this account now, I'm not as worried about JKCK. I also want to take a second and say thank you so much, my friend, for Relic Nining Kersantan. Uh, that is one of the biggest mistakes I keep seeing with Jabba is a lot of people are not Relic 8-ing, Relic 7-ing, uh, Kersantan and Bosch Leia. Anything higher than Relic 7 is where you want to be because Relic 5, they're just the requirements. It just gets killed off so easy. So thank you so much for doing that. Yeah, Relegate Bosch. Like, yeah, you're doing solid work, my friend. I love the fact that you're taking the time to do extra Relic levels. Because typically in your echelon of the game, that's typically what I suggest to people, is taking the time to, to get some higher Relics on some characters. And it looks like you're kind of already doing that with your important teams and characters. So... <laughs> Hey, I checked that Hera, and that Hera with the frickin' 7 speed was painful. Dude, like, if all of your characters are like that, please, no. Okay, uh, let's take a look at your Sith Empire. You got stuck on Kersantan, Bosk, Boba. Nice. Yeah, Kersantan's kind of mean on, uh, on defense, honestly. Okay. Solid, solid. And JKCK, I'm guessing, is for yourself, but also for your guild. Uh, which I don't think is a bad thing to farm at this point anyways. Um, let's kind of see what... Yeah, I know this project is not very high on people's list. Okay, so you have Afra. How are your Gungans looking? Okay, so you're, you're slow farming Gungans. Which is fair. Uh, because that means someone's putting work into Kersantan, and I love seeing that. It's not nice for you. I get it. I get it. It's rough. But the fact that his Kersantan won out, that's... Kersantan just... If you don't level him up, he's not good. So, I just like seeing Kersantan do something. That's what I'm saying, Arctic Gaming. Uh, I'm missing... Fury class. 165. Ooh, that's... That's rough. 165, you are way behind on your Fury class. Healer, healer. Really quick, I don't care if it's a two-star. I, I don't. I really don't. Gear 9, all of the abilities to at least 7, and the last ability to at least 6 is what I need from you to make them good. Ugh. Okay. Uh, so, Dagger, you're still working on Dagger. Um, okay, we're just going to go through your fleets and just kind of figure out what you're, what you got lying around. I would like to see your TIE Defender come up to 7 star. That's kind of a weird thing to not have 7 star. Like, I don't know. I would take some time and just finish that real quick. 
Like, I, I'm sure you get all the what you need from it at that Relic 7, but the, the 6 star to 7 star is a big boost to durability. So... got your marauder going is that marauder fully leveled up too yeah it's your separatist fleet you even have relic geos that's awesome dude yeah so you're not sleeping on your fleets at all um let's kind of take a look at your bounty hunters eight eight seven six five um so here's one little side relic that I would say if you have some time, go get. Up IG2000 to at least Relic 7, if not Relic 8 and 9. Uh, it not only helps with um, getting you holds. Holy crap, Joe Korea coming in with the 20 gifted subs. <laughs> Thank you so much, dude. You're amazing. <laughs> oh, that is amazing. Okay. So, uh, our whole chat is just going to be full for a hot second, and our thing is just going to keep going off. Uh, I will make sure that my mods get on top of that, and I work with them, and we get all of you guys your uh, memberships. So, be sure to have your name matching inside Discord. If it doesn't match, please DM us or change it to, with your nickname in Discord. Holy crap. New trade. <laughs> Welcome, friends. Thank you so much. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, Joe Carreria, however you say your name, you are awesome. Welcome, friends. Welcome, everyone. We're just doing some roster reviews. <clears throat> Gosh, that is so much. My chat just exploded. Um, but if any of you want roster reviews, we're doing roster reviews right now. We're doing free roster reviews. You can hop over in the Discord, or you can throw it in chat if you want to wait a little bit longer. But welcome, everyone. Gosh, Nooch to direct. Uh, gosh. <laughs> oh, the raid is real. Uh, yeah, so if you want a roster review, we go first priority is from our Discord. So the Discord link is in the description. So we go for people through that. And then after that, we move on to the people who are in chat. If you super chat or if you have a $10 membership, we do them first priority. The $10 membership comes with a live roster review. So, oh my gosh, Joe <laughs> coming in with another 20 subs. Holy crap, dude. Thank you guys so much. Thanks, Nooch, for uh, passing over some people. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, Joe coming in. Joe, you are literally the best. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, I will do my best, Asteroid. I'm, I might be here until I go to work if we get a whole bunch of people signing up, so... Oh, welcome friends. Welcome. Okay, so uh, there's a ton going on in chat right now. I'm going to focus on this guy's roster review and then I'll come back to you guys. Uh, thank you so much for Nooch for uh, passing over whoever's left from your uh, stream. And yeah, let's uh, keep going. So yeah, I would highly go bring up your IG2000. It's super helpful for both getting holds uh, against uh, different things, uh, as well as killing off... Um, the Leviathan. So, definitely something to look into for upping a relic level is IG88. I know it's a painful relic level, but it's a good one for character or players in your echelon. Dude, the the crap is so holy. <laughs> you have fun nooch doing your uh your timestamps. I've luckily gotten a couple people to help out with that and I've been super appreciative because I don't always have time for it. Uh, thank you so much, Nooch, and thanks to, uh, Joe for being so generous. You guys are awesome. At this point, we're, with all these members, we gotta do a member game night all together. Play some of uh, the new Star Wars Battlefront together. <clears throat> well, uh, uh, let's take a look at kind of, uh, we're gonna look at the bottom of your account and kind of what you're missing. Because you're kind of at that point where you're not missing much. Um... Okay, okay. So, JKCK and Leviathan, I think, are a great... Uh, they're great farms for you. I think it's great for your guild, and I think it's great for your account. Uh, and I don't think I'm going to knock that. I would suggest 
Uh, <laughs> and Joker are becoming the damn best. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is wild. Holy crap, Joe. You are so freaking generous, dude. That is our first damn best. I, I feel like we gotta play our song for this. Like, we gotta play our channel song for this. Like, freaking awesome, dude. Let's, let's throw our song in just to celebrate. Like, holy crap, Joe. You are so incredibly generous. I thank you so much. And as the damn best, you will be immortalized in both the Discord as well as in our streams. I'll be adding you to our outro scene uh, as a permanent spot in our outro scene. So, thank you so much. You are amazing, my friend. Yeah, Joe won the Powerball and decided to uh, share it. Holy crap. Oh, gosh. Joe, make sure you're part of the uh, Discord. Also, um, side note, the fact that one of you guys have the name Mithron Yorodo and it's spelled correctly is great to me. Uh, favorite character. But yeah, no, so some side farms that I, I definitely, I'm trying to focus on this. And I'm like, you guys are so amazing and Joe, you're so awesome. Thank you so much. Um, with the downfall of Lord Vader coming more and more each day, I do highly suggest getting your Maldalorians done at some point. And your Bo-Katan is also a side farm that I would suggest at some point. But Maldalorians is kind of what I'm, uh, really hoping. Uh, yeah, busy day for the mods. You aren't wrong. Uh, Joe does this everywhere he goes. Jeez. Joe is amazing. Joe, Joe is now my best friend. That's, it's just going to keep going off, isn't it? <laughs> Gosh. Uh. Uh, so the roster reviews work. You go over to the Discord. The Discord's in the description. Uh, and you can go and sign up for a roster review there. If you put it in chat, it'll be last priority. We go through the Discord first, and we got a little thing. I'll even pull up the Discord right now. So we got, in the Discord, we got this little section for roster reviews. And so you can just go through and throw your ally code, what your current farm is, and what your next farm is. And then I can go through your account. And so we go through these first, and then we go through what's in chat. If you uh, super chat, or if you become a member uh, of the $10 variety, you get a roster review. The $10 variety membership is a live roster review. So I pull you into a chat, and we go back and forth and talk about your account. So it's up to you guys what you want to do. <clears throat> Jeez, that's insane. Yeah. Eventually you'll need a break. Jeez. Uh, Swigo Messiah. Okay, so, yeah, just looking at your account, it's looking like you kind of have all the toys and you're kind of working on just some side things. And so I take a look at your, um your overall fleets and just try to find some relics to bring up like i would bring up ig 2000 uh you've done a fairly good job already like relic seven relic seven like you could relic seven tie interceptor um you know with your separatist i would highly suggest a relic seven on both of these it just ups the viability of the counter of profundity and a good profundity counter uh <laughs> Oh gosh, uh, and so Relic 7 them, so I just kind of work on some of your pilots as kind of some higher relics, as well as um, I do highly suggest Maldalorians for this for this account. Um, I, I want to say go for Bo-Katan soon-ish, um, but your current farms are fantastic. I think your current farms are the best path that you're on. Let's take a quick look at your mods and just see what you have here. Uh, yeah, Ahsoka Tano at 370, you are not having any problems with mods, this, yeah, you should be a Kyber 2 to Kyber 1 floater, like, I, I would not be surprised if you could get into Kyber 1 fairly easily, like, th this is that account where it's just, it's on that cusp of being a Kyber 1 account. <clears throat> yeah, 103, already that far. You're go doing solid. So yeah, I, I don't think you need to change anything. I, don't, I think JKCK and Leviathan are going to be the best things to get you into Kyber 1. 
Uh, I would look at Maldalorian soon, and then after that, probably Bo-Katan. Uh, you have some other things you can work on, like the Gungans, and if you want to work on the Gungans, or upping your uh, your Phoenix, uh, since, you know, you got some pilots here that, specifically Sabine, that could be relicked. But I don't think it's going to be super, super uh, important. Uh, Caleb Wheeler, I usually post guides. Um, I, that is my big thing, is posting guides and just being an educational channel in general. Um, so, you know, I, when I do a guide for, you know, Ray, I'm going through and I'm redoing it over and over again until I figure out the exact speeds that are the minimum speeds to take first turn, so that way you guys have as much information as possible, the least Zetas, least gear, and least mods. And so I try to be very thorough on my guides, and I try to just teach people, because I want every everyone to be the damn best at this game. I want this to be a community that all works together and helps each other become the damn best players and enjoy this game to its fullest. Uh, and there's a lot of things in this game that are hard and confusing to understand, and I want to make that easier for people. So, <clears throat> I want Jar Jar. Honestly, with, with those, uh, it's still going. With those uh, donations from Joe, honestly, we're looking at uh, probably not day one, but the second time Jar Jar comes around, we're most likely going to have Jar Jar. I'll see what I can do, though. Swag Frog, welcome, welcome. Uh, I'm, I'm also, quick side note, for all of you who just got gifted a membership, you do have a very important uh, responsibility, and that is whenever someone pops in the chat with a hello there, or if someone enters chat, you have an, um, uh, an emoji, and that is a general Kenobi emoji, and you guys need to be popping that in whenever someone comes in with a hello there. <clears throat> uh. But yeah, let's, uh, let's jump into our next roster review. So, oh yeah, no problem, Destroyer Worlds. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad it helped some people. That, that's kind of the, uh, the one that I've kind of been iffy on for that Fury class, because, like, I felt so bad that I messed up the Fury class one. The rest of them, you know, I, I've got a buddy who lets me use his account for a lot of the uh, ones that I already have done, which is super, super helpful, and I'm very appreciative of him. And so I'm glad I can at least uh, show you guys that to some degree, but... Oh, uh, yeah, that was Death Destroyer of Worlds still, yep. Uh, okay, we're going to jump into Freelorn. Freelorn is... And guys, if you're putting in your ally codes, please edit your message and just give me a little bit about like what you're, what you're farming, what you're planning on farming in the future. Just so that way I, I have an idea of where to look. Because a lot of these accounts, it's hard to just be like, oh yeah, I'm just going to jump in and know exactly what's going on. <clears throat> Currently farming Gungans and Gas on the side in case 2024 ship is the Resolute Bane. Bane is at... Oh, you're really close to Bane. You have 100 Omicrons. Uh, one for Starkiller for sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's uh, let's jump this in. We're going to bring this back over here so that way you guys aren't seeing my uh, Discord. Okay. There we go. Death Destroyer and World's coming in. Thank you. Thank you for getting those General Kenobis in. Okay. Thank you to my members. You guys are awesome. Okay, so we are looking at this account, and so he is almost to Bane. Uh, Gungans and Gas are your side farms. And you've got 100 Omicron to spend. Ooh, yeah, that's rough, having that many... Okay, so important side note for you, um, because you are talking about how the fact you're going to be unlocking all of the, the characters around the same time, I'm doing the same thing right now. Uh, and so I'm going to go to my account really quick and kind of show you how... Uh, how this looks so the nice thing is like if you are getting cat cat doesn't really have any omicrons ben solo only needs one omicron to really work which is his force dyad omicron um and so that's really easy and so there's a lot of these guys that it's like one or two omicrons that you really absolutely need and the rest can be wants it's the same thing with bane if you look at bane's omicrons he really needs rule of two obviously it's like a must um, Essence of Dominance is another must, uh, but then Malevolent Whirlwind, 
you can wait on this if you want to. It's not going to be, it's, it's not going to kill you. It's definitely something you can wait on. So kind of just look at the characters you're about to unlock and start budgeting and kind of look through the Omicrons. A great resource, Arnold does a Omicron ranking and you can go through and look at that for Omicron ranking and just take the top Omicrons of each of the Conquest characters as you level them up. Don't, don't put on Omicrons if you're not going to level up the character anytime soon. You can see here I have been with an Omicron. That is a big regret of mine. I wish I would have kept that for a while until we uh, started working on Ben, but we're kind of pushing Gungans hard. Uh, if you're putting an Omicron on something, you better be working on it as well. So, <clears throat> we can see the name. The name of what? I mean, I can move it to like right there. Is it, are you talking about the, the name of the account that we're going into? Ah, like that? Okay, yeah, I can do that. Um, but yeah, so... That, that would be my suggestion to you for Omicrons. I 100% kind of pre-plan your Omicrons. I do think Starkiller needs one. If you don't have one on Starkiller, throw it on. In fact, I would... I would yeah, so if you have a... St oh... My friend, get this Star Killer up ASAP. Star Killer is hugely important. If you have him this high, you need him up. Uh, you want there is much conflict in you, and I would honestly budget two. Uh, also get Force Repulse. This this Omicron helps a ton in the Ray battle, and so I highly suggest putting both of these ones on. Like there's some characters that only need one, and yes, you can run Star Killer with just one, but these two make that Ray battle much much easier. Um, okay, sounds good. Next. Hey Joshua, welcome, welcome. Uh, but yeah, Star Killer should be like top of your priority list, my friend. Like, okay, so you're side farming gas, you're side farming, um, you're start side farming Gungans, kind of just doing prep work stuff. Um, I do love seeing the Gungan Boomadier at Relic Five already. Uh, but I would highly suggest kind of repairing some holes in the account. Let's check your Jedi. You have Jedi Knight Revan, that's solid, but you do need a Relic him. You've already put all three Zetas on him. So yeah, like you have some stuff that I, I'd like you to kind of finish, honestly. Like this right here is painful. So like, okay, so I'm going to give you a quick list of characters that I think need to be worked on as like current projects. Um, it's not a long list, uh, but it is a list. So, you have this going. You have you Piet, Veers, Stark. Relic your Dark Trooper. So, I think the order... Oh, hold on. Sorry, my ADHD is getting to me. Star Killer, Jedi Knight Revan, Wampa, Dark Trooper. I would, I would honestly maybe move up Wampa up that list a little bit, but the fact that you're so close on Jedi Knight Revan, I don't want you to give up on it. So, I want to see you fill some of these holes... Um, because you're about to get a ton of characters and you're going to be spending a ton of time trying to figure out placements for these characters and stuff. And you're going for the Gungans, going for gas. This is a lot of side farming and I like peepees, you know, passion projects are fine. A little peepee -pee is fine. We all have a little peepee. -pee. That's fine. But you have some characters that are just really, really good in your account that you're kind of sleeping on. So... The 1,000 donation goal is for a Relic 9 Jar Jar. It's our, our a Jar 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 Jar. Um, so we are going for a Relic 9 Jar Jar. So the, the low side of getting Jar Jar day one was $550. The high side is up to $1,000 depending on RNG. And so I set it at 1,000. Um, but yeah, so that, that would be kind of my concept for you. Because you don't have a big project you're working on besides gas. And so I would honestly take some time and finish some of these farms, my friend. Uh, I think that's that's kind of the big thing for you. Um, is, like, you, you have some solid characters that, like, you just add this one character and all of a sudden you have a banger team. And so I want to see those teams pop. So to make sure you get those teams popping. Uh, we are going to look through your ships really quick. You are working on your echelon. I love seeing that. Uh, you have the Interceptor, you need a TDC. So, okay. Take a break from large farms, my friend. You have 
a defensive galactic legend you have two offensive galactic legends you have a gl ship i love where your account is but i want to do i want you to do what i'm doing right now and take a break from all major farms put gas on the back burner for a while i think gungans is fine go for it it's going to be great for your guild good for all of that but you have four characters i pointed out you have a tdc with iden versio highly suggest that's good in the current raid is good and you know just in general so get that i think you need to take a break and just start farming characters and kind of fill in some gaps in your roster and i think that'll be the thing that most is going to help you <clears throat> you didn't have to remind me of the size of my pp yes uh you know it's 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 never a bad thing to have a little pp uh in fact i'm considering making merch that i can wear on stream just <laughs> says it's okay to have a little pp <laughs> but anyways uh, that would be my main suggestion for you, Freelorn. I uh, I do love uh, I, I I do love this account. You do look like you have a solid start, but I want you to take that time. So, and then I'll also give you time to kind of figure out where you want to plug in each of your new characters you're getting from things because, like your Ray team, you can throw. Oh, dude look at the the synergy between cat and ray and you'll love it like you'll you're gonna have room for a lot of these characters you're getting so it'll also give you the room to get those characters up which is what i'm doing as well so <clears throat> uh okay astro we got astro db uh astro db are you in chat still Yeah, Astro DB current farm almost done is executor. Okay, so you're almost done with executor. Your side farms are troopers. I love that as a side farm, my friend. Uh, it, Dark trooper at gear 11, seven stars. Already, I am loving this account. Get that D Dark trooper relic five. You get that Dark trooper relic five. You don't even need the rest of the team gear 11, gear 12. Solid, solid work. I love that. Uh, Ewoks for C3PO. Interesting. I'm guessing. Uh, maybe a Galactic Legend. Sith Eternal, yeah. You mentioned it already. Okay, so looking at this account, your order of operations is obviously kind of, you already have the idea of Wampa. Um, this Geonosian Brood Alpha isn't necessary to Relic. I know a lot of people are relicking their Geos for the Poggocron, but honestly, I don't think it's going to be a bad thing for you because you Relic this Geonosian Brood Alpha, and then you get Sith Eternal, and Geonosian Brood Alpha can be plug and played into Sith Eternal when you have it. So, I don't think that's a bad thing whatsoever. It looks like you're spreading yourself out and trying to get a lot of teams, which is great. Which is not a bad thing when you're when you're a newer player, but you are hitting near that 4 million GP. So, you need to start working on a GL. And Sith Eternal is going to get you a lot of good stuff. I'm planning on the next Proving Grounds making a video about all the Proving Grounds you can do with just a basic Sith Eternal team. So, definitely something to look at. My question to you is, where is your Watt Tambor? Uh, Separatist. Are you in a guild, uh, for guild reasons? Fair enough, Astro, fair enough. Do you, are you in a guild where you're getting, uh, Watt Shards? Okay, Piet being your fastest, I love seeing that. I'm gonna go through your mods. Your guild is working on Watt. Okay, as long as your guild is working on Watt and you're working together, that's what I like to see. Um, I got a little heart in the way. I hate that Streamlabs does that. Can C do the two that SLKR cannot? Yes, he can. He can do both Malagus as well as TIE Interceptor, and that is why he was my second GL. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're going to take a look at just a little bit farther down um, just to see the mod fall off. Still not a bad mod fall off. You've got some solid mods going, dude. You just need to buckle down and finish some teams. So I would go full in on Geon Ocean Brood Alpha, full on full in on Wampa. Um, okay, here's the thing. You're kind of at that point where you have to decide whether to go up or out. And you've been going out. And if you feel like you need more teams for where you are, I don't know where you are right now. We're going to take a look. Uh, Bronzium. So if you feel like you need more teams, you can keep going outwards. But I'd rather you go upwards. I think a GL is going to be super helpful. It'll get you some more Chirotex every month. Um, so I would uh, I would definitely go Sith Eternal. 
I personally, I would go full in on Sith Eternal, finish Sith Eternal, and then after you have Sith Eternal, you can st kind of start spreading outwards this account. Um, and so I would do Wampa first. Wampa, absolutely. Jedi, Geonosian Brood Alpha, sure. Uh, CLS, sure, because he inc improves his whole team. Uh, I really hope you have a 3 pock somewhere around here. Let's take a look. Rebels. 3 pock 3 pock 3 pock 3 pock You ha do have a 3 pock and even this good of a 3 pock is still going to do a lot of work. Um, what is Watt's ability for primarily for SLKR? Uh, I will get into that in just a sec. Yeah, so... Relic your CLS, Relic your Genosian Brute Alpha, and Relic your Wampa. But then at that point, go full on into Sith Eternal. I think that's going to be the best thing for your account. Uh, yeah, so... Watt, you need the Zeta to make sure he takes first turn, and then you just need the tank tech. But it's I don't remember the actual name of the tech, but it's the 30% protection and removes all uh, debuffs at the beginning of, of their turn. That is the one that you want to put on SLKR. Uh, also, keep in mind, when you're using Watt Tambor with SLKR, SLKR dies to turn meter so never put the one that gives turn meter on any of the allies when you have watt tambor on the team just leave that one to do whatever it wants you just never use it with watt tambor you just want to use the tank tech on slkr and then the other one you can use somewhere else but do not use turn meter with slkr okay looking at your account uh i like the fact that you have a palp mobile um, and I like that this team exists, uh, that you're going to have a Chimera team as well as a, uh, as well as what you currently have. You will need to start building out. And I hope you have a uh, malevolence that you're working on. Okay. Yep. Okay. So here's what, uh, here's, okay. You have a, a, a account that's really spread out. Let me think for a second. How am I going to explain this? Okay. You're close, so you might as well relic CLS, Brood Alpha, and Wampa. Sith Eternal should be your next major farm. Uh, after that, um, you're going to want to just go for your next big project. So kind of just have another big project, which it looks like you're working on CLS. So maybe Jedi Knight Luke into JML will be your next thing. Um... But the thing that I'm worried about is this guy right here. You have a Gear 8 Best Car Mandalorian, and you're getting an Executor. I really want to see this up to Relic levels. I also want to see your Cad Bane up to Relic levels. It's, it's hugely important with that ship, especially if you want to maintain the number one spot in your fleet arena at any given moment. Super, super important. I also want to see you get the Hyena Bomber, and I want to see you get the... Uh, the what is it called? The other ship. Uh, my brain's not working today. The droid ship. Vulture droid. Uh, Vulture droid and, uh, and the uh, hyena bomber for this fleet. So that way you have a secondary attacking fleet. So you have kind of a lot of side projects going. So... I really wish I could just be like oh yeah this is your perfect route but if you so if you're feeling like you need to push outwards if you feel like you need to push hard and expanding your roster outwards i'm going to say finish your cls team finish your geo team finish your wampa uh and kind of finish your dark trooper that kind of stuff get your hyena bomber get your uh um get your vulture droid all that type of stuff push outwards if not finish these three characters and then go for sith eternal and then push outwards after and i think that is your best route is pushing upwards after but i get it if you want to you know take some time and push outwards i get it 100 percent. so that is my suggestion to you um i do appreciate your mods your mods are looking good but you have a lot of side projects and a lot of projects going and you kind of just need to hammer things out as much as possible. So I don't know. It's, it's an interesting account. Okay. Sounds good. If you don't want to put that in your discord, that's fine. Just DM me or one of my moderators.
Yeah, I apologize for not giving you more of like a solid here, 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 but your account's just so spread out that it's really hard for me to be like, you're so close to both finishing some teams, but also you're so close to Sith Eternal and getting your first GL. And so I'm going to leave it up to you. I, I kind of pointed out the big problems I'm, I'm seeing, which is, you know, Best Car Mandalorian and, you know, um, the the Xanadu's blood relic levels and things like that. But like, I feel like you can go either way. And so I'll leave it up to you, but just either way, CLS, Wampa, and Genosian Brood Elf will get them relic Luke G, we got, I am working on, uh, hold on. No, we got Swag Frog, sorry. This is Swag Frog. All right, no worries. I'm finishing SLKR working on Conquest units. Uh, so SLKR is great, working on Conquest units, Conquest units, like, okay. So, you know, like Maul and that kind of thing. Got it. Uh, farming Afra on the side, interesting, interesting. To day one Queen Amidala. Do you have much Galactic Republic to fit with that? Yeah, you've got... I mean, you'll probably relic your Padme. Like, I'm calling it right now. Padme is going to be uh, one of the five that you use. <laughs> what do you think of the PFT? Yeah, fair. Um, okay, so... Uh, it's hard to, like, straight up say it because, obviously, we can't know for sure with Queen Amidala who she's going to work with. But I do think Padme is going to be one of our best bets. Um, the interactions of attacking out of turn with Queen Amidala just synergize so well with Padme as well. Uh, so I, I definitely think that's, that's something you should look at relicking soon. Uh, I also would like to take a second and really say thank you for relicking your 501st. That's something I see often that people don't relic. So, good job on that. Um, I do want to check your Imperial Troopers, see if you're sleeping on your... You are sleeping on your Dark Trooper. Something to add to your list, my friend. I'd, I'd wait till after you're finished with SLKR, but please relic your Dark Trooper. Looks like you got your Inquisitors up for your guild. Good job being a good guildie. Um... Are you sleeping on your Zori? You are sleeping on your Zori. Oh, that's fine. Um, okay, so two side things that I want you to add to your farm, uh, Swag Frog. I want to see Finn Zeta in this account because that's what makes the Zori team work. You used Zori to get through the event, which means you have one of her Zetas. Don't waste that Zeta. Give yourself an amazing defensive team. So get the Finn Zeta, throw throw them with the uh, two resistance heroes, Rose and Zori, and you have an amazing 5v5 team. It's Finn, resistance hero Finn, and Zori, and 3v3. Either way, it does so much. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm hoping I win. We'll, we'll see, cheese balls. We'll take a look at our score in a sec, see if our opponents fought. But, like, yeah, don't sleep on this Zori team. It's so good. I Here, I've got a picture for you guys. Uh, let me find it. Um, it's in my go general. This is from my last grand arena. If I can find it, holy crap! Yeah, here we go. So right here, this is Kyber Three. I'm using Finn, Resistance Hero Finn, and Zori, and my Zori's Gear Nine, and I have three battles on this. They they held two battles for me. Like, do not sleep on your Gear 9 Zoris. They are so good. Um, so definitely the Finn Zeta is something I would add. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Reva, the, uh, Reva battle with Reva is easy. That makes sense. Uh, I, can, I can send it to you uh, next. We will take a look in just a second. I, I will send some screenshots into the chat. Uh, oh, yeah, Astro got it. Thank you, Astro, for answering Sam. But yeah, so don't don't sleep on Zori and don't sleep on your Dark Trooper. Both fantastic characters that I feel like you're sleeping on. Um, additional side notes, uh, things that you can finish that you don't have finished currently. 
is you don't have a relic general grievous you don't have a relic b1 uh both which could could be good in the raid same with the Druidica, as well as padme those are all kinds of things that i would if you're looking at galactic republic with you know queen amidala and that kind of stuff something some stuff i would look at but 100 percent finish up your slkr that's that's prime stuff um you have your echelon being worked on your special forces being worked on good job dude something i see a lot um at this point i'm gonna add Iden versio to that list as well so i'm going to say after you finish slkr i'm liking where this account is it's looking like a very sexy account but take some time and just do some side characters uh not requirement characters just side characters because you have a lot of side characters that could use a boost to really make this account pop you know get yourself that fin zeta get yourself you know a um uh, a relic Aiden. it helps in the raid currently she does amazing in the raid uh plus she's gonna be great for that ship you're gonna be countering executors with that fleet at that point with no problems you're not gonna be scared at all uh alitha alithai welcome to the damn community thank you for subscribing my friend uh getting this b1 done like you have some dark trooper you have some side farms that i think uh i, I think would be very important 1.5 million versus 6 million oof yeah that's that's rough but yeah no problem uh, alithai i i get it you you know you do what you gotta do okay <clears throat> but yeah so that that would be my suggestion to you for kind of how this account should uh should look going forward uh is taking some time and just doing some side farms which i know a lot of people will say and i, I it is painful it, it is it is genuinely painful but you're you're looking at an account where you have defensive galactic legend defensive galactic legend offensive galactic legend and you're about to get another offensive galactic legend and so like i'm not worried for you overall for your account i'm mostly just worried about your teams being super super solid so take some time and work on that i would say i also want to see your mods get a little bit better um, your mods are looking good, but not amazing. Uh, like this Resistance Hero Finn should be in the 330s if you can. Uh, you do have them over 300 speed, which is great. But your mod fall off is pretty, pretty good. Like it's, it's starting to fall off pretty hard as you go down. But overall, solid account, dude. I would say after SLKR, take a break for a little bit. Uh, you know, get that Relic Iden. Um, make sure that you have a btlb finished like this btlb should not be two stars it should be seven stars so that's kind of my idea for you and it'll also help you in getting the you know G the the separatist done the padme done you're going to be set up for the raid as well as set up for queen amadala coming out so like your account swag good job Okay, we're gonna jump into Luke G. We got Luke G. It's being worked on? Sweet, that's what I like to hear. <clears throat> uh, you're working on SLKR, which is a very common thing right now. After that, I need to work on core teams. Sounds good. Uh, core teams is never a bad thing to work on. I played back in the day and stopped for a few years, came back, and need to work on my teams. I also got light speed packs this last time. I was thinking of getting my Padme team or a non-GL Proving Grounds. Oh, for a non-GL Proving Grounds. Uh, okay. Seems like you have a lot of kind of things everywhere. Um, I can see why you would want to work on core teams, but honestly, the light speed bundles do so much to give you teams. Are, are you here, uh, Luke G by chance? Are you in chat right now? Uh, is that you, uh, Luke Grancheck? Um, oh, you're fine next Reaper. I will throw some screenshots in, um, here I can actually... work on it right now while i while i kind of describe this hopefully my adhd won't get to me too much and i can describe this while i'm kind of uh going through and getting some screenshots for my moderators so okay so 
with with this account, I love where it is. Your light speed bundles have really got you back on track, and I love that. SLKR and Ray can do almost every single proving grounds. Uh, and so I don't think it's necessary for you to get non-GL Proving Grounds characters. And so what I want you to focus on is I want you to focus on Ray and Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. So obviously Supreme Leader Kylo Ren is first, but go after Ray next. And the reason that I would suggest this is because you have a lot here that you can do some stuff with. So we mentioned with this last account that we went over uh, for you to get this Zori, but you need the Finn Zeta to make this work. So it's not actually the Zori Zetas that make this team work, it's the Finn Zeta. And so this allows them to gain turn meter and reduce turn meter on people they hit that have exposes. And then you just add in Zori. And so you can literally just drop that Finn Zeta and you'll immediately have a uh, team that you can use on defense that's super, super solid. Same with like, you, you have a Scoundrel team that you already can be using and so you have a ton of teams uh just from buying these light speed bundles that i don't think you're going to have a problem with teams anytime soon it's more of learning what teams you can create and what teams you can use i've got a couple videos on that about the light speed bundles if you want to go check them out there's some of my older videos um but definitely go check that out but honestly instead of working on core teams i'd rather see you do that because then you'll have a gl for defense and you'll have a gl for offense uh and then at, at, while you're working on that Start working on your uh, Razor Crest. Make sure you're getting shards for it because I'd love to see a GL ship into this account. Uh, getting the Executor, I think, will be huge for you getting back on track. And once you have those three things, Ray, SLKR, and a GL ship, you're going to have zero problems doing anything in this game. You'll have a solid start and you'll have a solid end on every event. Um, going to go over here. And so that, that, I do love the idea of making core teams in general, but when you buy the Lightspeed bundles, you get so many teams for free. It's more of learning how to use the teams you currently have and then working on the GLs. I think that is the most important part for you. Um, okay, so here is my list. Okay, I, I will take care of it after stream, because if I don't, it's going to get a little iffy. <clears throat> yeah, so, sounds good, Al Alify, however you say your name. You have a great day. You're 10 away from unlocking Razor Crest, so it unlocks at 145. So you do need it at 330 for the event. So good job. Keep grabbing it every time you see it in the shard store, try in the fleet arena store, sorry. So if if you're going for it, you always want to keep at least 400 fleet arena currency lying around so that way you can always pick it up when it comes around. So don't don't go full in on Zetas just to allow you to do that. Yeah, it'll add a little bit more time on Zetas, but not by much because you're only keeping an extra 400 around. So Make sure you're picking up your Razor Crest and going for that, but I would 100% go SLKR, finish this Wampa, and then go into, uh, just go straight into Ray. And then after that, expand outwards. And then one, as you're expanding outwards, whenever you finish your ships for Executor, you can then go straight into Executor. And so, like, the expanding outwards phase, you can take a break from that at any time and then go for that executor, and then you can keep expanding. So I definitely think that's going to be the most helpful thing for you. Um, I know older accounts a lot of times struggle with uh, mods in general. Ooh. Ooh. I'm, I might have made a mistake in what I just told you. Give me just a sec. I'm seeing a Mara Jade, which means you bought all of them. SLKR. Starkiller. Wampa. Ray, that is your order. What's the fastest Tuscan I've ever seen? I think it was only like 300 and something speed. I think it was like 300 and I don't remember. It was 300 and something. It's it pretty low, 300s. Um, but yeah, so definitely something I would look at is getting your Star Killer. I do like seeing your Mara Jade this fast. Um, uh, 330 speed is the perfect speed, but this is good too. Um, but yeah. Honestly, looking solid, but I would encourage you take advantage of your light speed bundles and don't let them be slept on. So, SLKR, 
uh, Star Killer. If if you need an option for the Star Killer Omicron, I, it's there is much conflict in you. Put that one on first. That's all you need to get the character going. Wampa, you already have invested in. Get him up to Relic Five. So both of these should be Relic Five. Ray, and then expand teams, and then Executor when you have the stuff finished for Executor. Throw it in the Discord, Justin. I'll take a look. Okay, uh, let's hop into this next one. Mr. Coin, are you still in chat? Yeah, Justin is one of the best people for mods I have ever seen in this game. And so every once in a while he likes to jump in and flex on us, you know. JML into Executor. Well, let's let's take a look at kind of what you have. Okay, JML is a great option. Um, let's take a look at your ships. Okay, I can see why you would say Executor. But you do need the time to get Razor Crest, so that is fair, 100% fair. Uh, so here's the deal already. At what I'm going to say, Caleb, is I want you to start by relicking the Savage up to Relic Five. That's immediately a full team that you can throw because Darth Treya at Gear 12 can handle her own and do her own team and get a lot of use out of her. Um, although I do need a Nihilus to be with that. So let's take a look. Start working on your Nihilus ASAP. You don't need Scion. Don't worry about Scion. Scion's just very mid. You can get him up to gear 12 if you want. It just costs raid 1 currency. Um, but he's just mid. You have the Razor Crest at 7 star, but no BAM. Okay. Uh, so, what are you waiting on for it, then? Yeah, so it's just BAM. Okay. So, here would be my suggestion, honestly. Because I would rather see a Crystal Income over a new G GL. And so, honestly, what I would do if I were you is I would finish this Savage uh, and start working on the just the stars for the Nihilus as soon as you can. Uh, and then I would go full in on an Executor, honestly. If you are right there, go for Bam and go into Executor because that's going to get you a Crystal Income every single day. Uh, like, 400 Crystals, I mean, okay, we'll be conservative here. 200 crystals every single day is going to be huge for your account. And so I would much rather see an executor in this account, especially because executor can beat all the other meta ships. So it doesn't matter what's in the top of your fleets. You can still beat them and stay in the top 20. So I would rather see an executor ASAP. So take a second and relic that Savage, relic five that Savage. Make sure you're not sleeping on things, which it looks like you're not. You got your Captain Rex. Uh, and so honestly, relic your Savage. And then just go all in on Executor. Um, yeah, that that honestly is going to be huge for you. Raven's Claw and Biston. We just beat one of those today, Alethi or Alethi. Um, but yeah. So, yes, Next Reaper, that is his Discord, by the way. But yeah, so overall, I you're not wasting time. This, this account looks good. I do like where this account is right this moment. This is looking sexy. Um, it looks like you're taking advantage of your stuff, and I'm not going to, you know, get angry at you all at all. You're doing some solid work. You almost have your echelon done. Um... You know, you have yourself a Hans Millennium Falcon. You're close to JML. You're still waiting on your Rebel Y-Wing pretty hard. I'm going to say go Savage Executor JML. And I think that'll be really, really good for this account getting that crystal income. Uh, let's take a quick look at your mods just to make sure you're not sleeping on mods. 313 on Bosk is fire. Like, that is some solid modding. I do love seeing your first order officer is slightly faster than your Hux. That is huge in doing certain counters. Uh, solid speed on the Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. I would like to see around 560 to 570, but super solid speed on him. Um, 
I would like to see Captain Rex a little higher. Sabine maybe too, but specifically Captain Rex a little higher is going to be big for you. Looking at your other characters, I'm not really seeing any that you're sleeping on where I'm like, oh, that character needs a lot of speed. So you're doing solid with your mods. Um, this is a newer account, so you're going to keep working on mods. If you need a mod filter, go check out my mod farming video. It has a great filter for your mods to make it so that way you're being the most efficient. But overall, looking great. I would just swap that executor and JML. Get that executor first, get your crystal income going. Okay, let's uh, jump into Cyberblock. This isn't my account, but working on Leia, I think. Whose account is this? Uh, <laughs> this is Nooch's account. <laughs> uh, fun fact, Cyberblock, I've already done a roster review on this account on a member stream. I will be releasing it as a video. I did a roster review of AP Gains account, uh, Arnold's free-to-play, and then this account. And uh, honestly, Cyberblock, this is one of my favorite accounts I've ever looked at. Uh, I want to, I'll, I'll point it out to you guys right now. Like, it already has some solid capital ships going, right? It already has Executor, it already has Leviathan. Uh, its fleets are finished everywhere. Like, he doesn't take, he doesn't take a break from things. Like, he relicked his Iden Versio. He has this going. Like, you look at all of his side farms, and he takes the time to do the side farms. You know, he has a Relic Dark Trooper. And so this is honestly one of my favorite accounts I've ever seen in the game. It's as close to perfect as I've ever seen an account that's not, like, Arnold's main account, where it's just everything. Like, he's taking the time to do side farms, he's utilizing his entire roster. A beautiful account. Sounds good, Caleb Wheeler. You have a great day. <sighs> Mithron Yorodo. Been listening to the, uh, I, I don't know how much of a Mithron Yorodo fan you are, but I've been listening to all of the new uh, Thrawn books, and so I listened to, uh, the Ascendancy series. I listened to the first two because I listened to books while I'm at work. Uh, I listened to the first two and I just have I didn't own the third and so I hadn't listened to it. Just listened to the third and like so freaking good. Like I love the new Thrawn books. Uh, Mithron Yoroto, are you still in chat or are we going to be skipping you? Give me a membership. Thanks so much to them. Even I can't. See. It's Joe. His name is Joe and I, yeah, he's going to be immortalized on our Discord. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, there is Mithron Yorodo. Yeah, Joe jo Coria. <laughs> uh, okay. So. Currently farming, Jabba will keep an eye towards the new raid or fleet. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, future need to shore up some teams. Rogue One, Sith Trio, Savage, Seer Malakos, Troy Deca eventually improve Marauder Pilot. Marauder Pilots. Oh, okay, the Bad Batch. Got it. Um, but not sure how to prioritize those or other future farms. Fair enough. So you're f currently farming Jabba. Um, when you're going for a GL like that, I feel like you kind of need to go all in and... Honestly, Jabba, if you're going all in on Jabba, it's never going to be a bad farm because you get that mod event every month. So I think you should just go straight in on Jabba and you can kind of prioritize those a little later. Now, if I were to look at um, your account and be like, what should you prioritize for first out of the characters that you're talking about after? Uh, here's the prioritizing that I would do. So let's take a look. Um, so, first things first, Savage. Savage is a five person in one character. He can be used with any Sith. He's super versatile. You can take down CLS on defense. You can take down all kinds of things on defense. He just immediately makes teams better. You can take down a JML. I mean, oh, you're not going to see JMLs very often, but when you do, this you, your Relic 3 Treya with this Savage will take down with that Gear 12 Nihilus, a JML team. Like, zero problems. So, definitely something I would say is 
finish Java, go all in Java. You need those mod materials. And then after that, go for Savage and then go for Malakos. Uh, if you already have a Malakos lying around, your Malakos should be your next character that you work on. Um, I'm not seeing Malakos right this moment. Maybe you already have him. Okay, you have a Malakos in your account, so I don't think you need to work on your Seer team just yet. I would focus down that Savage. It's just so vitally important. Get that Savage done, because Malakos can be used in kind of any team you have here. Like, you can use him with Supreme Leader Kylo Ren and do tons. Hey, Bombardment, welcome, welcome. Um, so, yeah, I... To Swigo streamers over the years, jeez, that's insane. I mean, if I'm... I, I need to do my math, but I think he just donated, um, 90, 120, $220, I think is the total. But yeah, the smuggler one, two, one is goaded, absolutely. Um, okay, here's what, what I, yeah, I think you're right on the money, my friend. Let me check your ships just to make sure I'm not giving you bad advice. Uh, okay, fleet done. Uh, fleet done, right? Fleet done. Uh, fleet done. You just need to get your Marauder pilots up. Yeah, so honestly, I would kind of take a break after Jabba, because, like, you have a solid account going, you have Bane. I don't think you're going to struggle much staying where you are and still getting wins. And so I'd rather see you kind of fill out like you're mentioning. So 100%. Uh, K Caleb Wheeler, SLKR, you can look at my video. I have a video going over every tier. He can beat every single one if you have a very specific team, but if you just have the Lightspeed Bundle team, uh, he can beat everyone but TIE Interceptor and Malchus. But if you have Malak and Wat Tambor, you can beat every single one. <clears throat> um, but yeah, so I definitely think you should take some time directly after you finish your, uh, your Jabba. And so, like, you know... Finish your Savage first, because Savage is like Malakos. He's so super plug-and-play that he's amazing. You shouldn't be sleeping on him. Um, you have Malakos already. Droid Deca, It's hard for me to ever tell someone to finish Droid Deca because, yeah, he's great for his Omicron, but it's a Territory War Omicron, and Newt Gunray does the same thing, and we really don't care about Trench. So it's hard for me to justify Droid Deca. I'd rather, instead of Droid Deca, I'd rather see you get the Maldalorians. Get it going, get yourself another JMK counter so you can save your other JMK counters for other teams. Um, get a solid Maldalorians team. So I would just take some time and kind of finish some of these teams you already have close. And so I think you're on the right path 100%. I don't think there's anything that I would suggest different. Um, if you are struggling on your fleets, I would move the Bad Batch to the top of the list. But if not, I would say go Savage first. Uh, and then probably finish Seer Malakos, because you can leave Savage for a bit after you've reliced him. So just Savage, and then Seer Malakos, uh, and then probably Bad Batch, Sith Trio, Rogue One, Maldalorians would probably be my order if, uh, if I were giving you that. I uh, next you're killing me. Um, hold on. Yeah, I can't even scroll up far enough. Uh, next, I will put out some screenshots during after the stream. I just don't have time right now because I only got an hour before work and I want to get through as many of these roster reviews as we can. So that, that would be my order for you. Um, your Mandalorians were high on your other team. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, you can move the Mandalorians. Okay, so we talk about this a lot. PPs, passion projects are vitally important. Uh, to your roster and so for me Maul DeLoreans was a PP. I loved Maul uh, just in general. I love Maul's kit so it's uh, the perfect PP. If you have a perfect PP it's one that blends passion with uh, viability and that is a perfect PP to me. And so Maul DeLoreans for me was a perfect PP and if it is a perfect PP for you put it to the top of the list absolutely. So I'm just basing it off of like you know what you can do for what you get and so savage is going to get you the most bang for buck and then seer is going to get you the most bang for buck and then the the uh you know the bad batch is going to give you the most bang for buck because you can beat scythe and all the other stuff with it uh and then the most bang for buck would next would be maldalorians and so that's why i suggest that route but if there's a pp in there peepees are fine 
A little pee pee is fine to have. <clears throat> okay. Let's, uh. Okay. So let's get into the next person. Mithron Yoroto, I love your account. You're looking good. I hope in two years we will have a uh, Chiss fleet with, uh, you know, Aralani as the lead of the fleet. Uh, and then, you know, we get another Thrawn would be great as well as an Eli Vanto. I want a Chiss fleet so bad. Okay. Does anyone know if we are... It's every year, Caleb. We've seen it every single year for the last couple years. I don't think they'll change. I'm sure we'll get it. I'm guessing we'll get the same thing as last time where they have, like, the new characters and the old characters. But we don't have any confirmation specifically. Yeah, Old Republic Fleet would be cool as well. Get, like, the, the Hammerhead Cruiser. Okay, so this is Ripjaw. Is Ripjaw still in the chat? Oh, I forgot. I still need to make something for lunch. Eh, I'll pick something up while I'm at work. It's fine. It's a cool fleet. Oh, that'd be interesting. Very interesting. I wouldn't mind a Satil Sean fleet, honestly. Uh, just Satil Sean in the game at all. Um, I'm not seeing Ripjaw pop up. Okay, there. There we go. Okay. I get there's a delay, so this is a very, very, uh, like, early on roster. Looks like it might have been an SLKR push originally. I'm returning player from about a year break. I'm working on my mods, but need recommendations on what teams I should be working on. Um, so it looks like, ooh, it's hard for me to straight up say. Okay, first things first, let's take a look at your Geos. Where's your Geonotions? Geonotions. Okay, right here. Um... One of the most important things you can possibly do in this game, Ripjaw, is find a good guild. Uh, and so I would highly suggest finishing your Geonosians, so get them all up to gear 11, gear 12 area. I would suggest gear 12, but gear 11 is the bare minimum, and that'll allow you to be able to do the Wat Tam War mission. You can use that to leverage your way into a guild. I've leveraged my way into a guild just by saying that I will work on this. And so go to my Discord, go to Nooch's Discord, go to... Arnold's Discord, this will go Events Discord, and find a good guild, and don't settle. Uh, you can find a really good guild that's already getting Watt Tambor Shards, and usually if they're already getting Watt Tambor Shards, you're going to get some solid rewards out of your raids. So super, super important um, is to get that done. So that would be the first thing that I would say work on, is just get that done for your guild, because it leverages you into really good raid rewards. And that's what you're going to need to really pop off and get this account going. The raid rewards are more, more helpful than anything else to an account. Um, besides that, it looks like you kind of have a hand in a couple different cookie jars. Uh, and I don't know how you're looking for Omicrons. Let me know if you have an Omicron saved up. Um, but best free-to-play farmable teams are going to be imperial troopers or uh krex with the phoenix so captain rex with the phoenix uh are t the two easiest ones to jump right into and get a team if you have an omicron i highly suggest finishing this guy right here this is an entire team in one character so like you don't even need super good mods or anything for him you just need him at level 85 throw on a zeta throw on an omicron and you will instantly have one of the best teams in the game you do have 40, so that is my suggestion to you for your next character. So get your Geos done, and then get your Savage done. And that is a full team that you have right there. He can solo all kinds of stuff. So there's your first two kind of things to do. But if you have this Relic 5 Hux, and you're, you're kind of feeling the same thing as you were before, uh, I don't know how your first order looks, but I'm guessing it looks fairly good considering you have a Hux that high. Yeah, so you have a start on your first order already, and so you could 100% go into a SLKR push, but you're kind of on that open side where you have a lot of room to move around. So honestly, I would say get those two things done. So get your Geos done, uh, get your Savage done, and then choose a direction. 
I, I don't want to necessarily give you a direction specifically because there's a lot of places that you can go with this account. Uh, but choose a direction and choose a reasonable direction. And so uh, we'll go into kind of some reasonable directions uh, for you. Um, but also work on the Sunfax uh, ship. This is going to be your first fleet and it's super important. But let's, oh, I'm going to go over the GLs that I would say are like solid starting farms. Especially at this point, once you have a good guild. So, Sith Eternal is a starting farm that you can do. Uh, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren looks like is what you started. Also a solid farm to go do, and it takes advantage of your Hux. So, it's really not a bad idea to do. Especially with the new Omicron and the TIE Pilot. It's going to be super, super helpful to get another good team going in Grand Arena. Um, so, SLKR is an option. If you want something a little newer, Leia is one of the best characters to start farming. Her requirements are super, super easy to get. Um, they are There's only a couple that are not double drop farmable. Uh, Jabba is also one that's not bad, and JML is not also not one that's not bad. I wouldn't suggest Ray just because Ray doesn't really connect with any other farms. Uh, if I were to suggest one to you with just looking at your Hux, I would do Supreme Leader Kylo Ren into Sith Eternal into Executor would be my option. Which is what I did. I loved it. Uh, it doesn't fit perfectly with you know what a lot of people suggest nowadays but you kind of already have the stuff uh to work on it uh, a gl uh free to play usually takes about eight months if you're focused on it with his hux being where it is uh i would cut it down to seven months and the fact that he's already level 85 i'd probably cut it down to six months so uh six months he could have a gl and a solid start into his account could be faster if he gets into a better guild because that is based off of the raid changes not being there so uh kind of just choose basically ignore these three and then choose one of these five and go for it and that would be my suggestion to you um but if you're looking for a list of really easy teams to get up and to get working uh i highly suggest um Here's a couple options for you. Phoenix. So Hera with Sabine, Kanan, uh, Chopper, and Captain Rex is going to be excellent for you. Uh, another one that's super easy is Imperial Troopers is another really, really solid one. You already have part of this done. And so all you need is Veers, Dark Trooper, Piet, uh, and then any other two troopers. I suggest Moff Gideon and Range Trooper personally. Like Some people like to put Colonel Stark in for Moff Gideon. Up to you. Uh, but find some easy teams to get you going right now, like I mentioned. So like that Savage or, you know, um, get yourself a Phoenix, get yourself Imperial Troopers, get yourself a couple teams just to start, um, and then go straight into one of the big farms and just start heading in that direction. Uh, because the moment that you get a major farm done like that, uh, which you could be done in four to six months, uh, if you have a good guilt. And so if you're getting that GL in four to six months, you are going to be just destroying because you'll immediately bump up several Grand Arena uh, ranks. You're immediately going to have access to some stuff that you didn't have before, like the, you know, the different uh, events. You'll be able to always be able to do the Galactic Challenge crates on the hardest difficulty, even if you can't do all the side stuff. So you're going to be getting good rewards there, getting some solid Omicrons into your account. So that, that is my suggestion to you, Ripjaw, is to, you're kind of at a point where your account isn't quite at the point where it has a direction to go. And I'll show you really quick, Ripjaw, this is my free-to-play account right here. <clears throat> and so you can kind of see I'm doing similar things to you right now. So like, I have Savage at level 82, uh, I'm trying to get him up to level 85 and get that Omicron to help myself out. Uh, with my raid rewards, I'm using that to get the stuff that I need for, to get him to gear 13. I'm getting like the Geonosians ready for my guild. Uh, you can see here I've got my Imperial Troopers being worked on. I have this Hera uh, Phoenix team going. S very similar to what I'm suggesting to you because it's kind of the, the basic setup to an account. So, <clears throat> Is it possible for you to become a mod? Yes, it is, Caleb. Uh, go ahead and DM me. Like, leave me alone. Uh, okay. We have, next up, uh, Ash. I'm I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. But also, Ripjaw, please come on back once you've decided on your farm and you're started working on it. Uh, come back to us and give us another look at your roster, and we can take a look at the most efficient way to farm whatever you're choosing to farm. So, like, I'll give you a for instance. Uh, if we are looking at uh, farming... 
uh, General Anakin Skywalker, for instance. Uh, we'll go over to General Anakin Skywalker. He's a, a large farm. He's almost a GL-level farm. Uh, and so you look at the requirements for this character, and you've got, like, a Padme team. You've got a droid team that you need. Um, and so, like, the f most uh, efficient way to farm this is going to be I farm Shock T and the 501st clones that are going to go with gas. And so I immediately have a team. And then I farm Padme with the rest of this team and I have another team. And then I farm General Grievous and then I get these droids and I have another team. And then I get gas and I have the best team out of all of them. And so there's an efficient way to farm teams just so that way you can make sure you're getting the most out of your farms going for a Galactic Legend or a Major Farm. So... <clears throat> So yeah, choose a choose a major farm. You have a seven star Padme, which is great, and so you, you can build a Padme team, and it would be a solid team. So there's another team that if you're looking for one, just throw some random Galactic Republic. Um, as you get into a good guild, General Kenobi is going to be something you get fairly easily. You can make a solid Padme team. That's not a good, bad team whatsoever. That's a really solid team for starting out. So, but yeah, just come back to us when you decide on your big farm, and we'd love to take a second look at your account. Uh, but yeah, Ash, it is pronounced Ash. Okay. Let's get into your account. Copy. Paste. Okay. We are looking at finishing layer requirements, then farming tickets. Fair enough. But a break after that to solidify teams like CLS. Solid, solid. Okay. Uh, Chewy Relic, for example. I'd rather see... Chupio. Okay, you already have Chupio Relic. Is that a requirement for Leia? I guess, I'm guessing it is, since it's Relic 7. Um, I don't look at the Leia requirements very often, obviously. Uh, but then again, I haven't been working on GLs for a while. I need to get back into them, but I still have quite a few teams i got to finish first. Gas 501st. Okay. Interesting. Um, solid choice. Extra Relics on important characters like Wampa, Bam... Han. Shard farming inquisitors for future considerations. Rebel ships, Outrider, Y Wing. Uh, first things first, Ash. Um, okay, Chupio is the Relic 7 for Leia. Thank you, Nick. I do want to tell you this now. Don't go for inquisitors. The. You can go go back a couple nights ago and watch me sit there for two hours banging my head against a wall as I tried to unlock the Grand Inquisitor if you'd like to. But unless your guild is pushing for it, do not get Inquisitors. That's why I have the Grand Inquisitors because my guild has a goal of having Grand Inquisitor by June and then having them finished uh, by later this year. I don't know when our exact timeline is, but I did say that I was going to get them by June. And so, yes, that is great. If your guild is working towards it, great. But it's they're just not great. They're not good. Not until you get Reva. <clears throat> so I, I just don't suggest throwing the Inquisitors into your farm unless you're close to Scythe or your uh, guild's going for it. Those are the only two times that I suggest going for Inquisitors out of your own volition. Yeah, it, dude, it took me an hour and 15 minutes just for one tier. Ugh. Not requiring for specifically yet. Yeah, so I'd push it off until they require it specifically and just focus down your roster. Uh, so, ooh, what is this? Uh, Erland A, welcome to the damn community. Thank you for subscribing. You are awesome, my friend. Uh, okay, so... I guess five versus CLS. I do like the idea of solidifying a CLS. Honestly, I, I, it's a personal preference I always love is solidifying your CLS as soon as possible. So yeah, relicking that right there. Uh, how does your Jedi's look? Do you have Jedi Knight Revan? You do. Okay, might I suggest, Ash, uh, after you finish Leia... Um, okay, so I guess... Conquest character aside from... Okay, so I can get why you would choose it. I would put it at the bottom of the list still. It's still a garbage farm. It costs so many Kyrotex. I hate it with all my heart. Um, okay, so... Hmm. Okay, let's take a look at your Wampa real quick. I, I do want to look at your Wampa. Okay, your Wampa's a Relic 3. I'd rather have him at Relic 5. So obviously you've recognized that already. Um... You have a Relic 5 Dark Trooper. Good job, dude. I'm really proud of you for that one. That's awesome. Um, 
I'm going to take a second and just kind of scroll through your roster before I kind of give you some uh, some advice. How's your tie advance looking? Or you're not tie advance, your tie interceptor. Uh, Witherox, welcome to the damn community. Thank you so much. <clears throat> okay, you have the BTLB. I love seeing that. Okay, so interesting. How's your Separatist look? Okay. Very, very interesting. And your gas isn't done. But you're close. Okay. That's my one problem, is a lot of people are like, I want gas, but they're not close. Which I was that way. I was 100% that way. But it was a PP for me, and so I accept PPs. But yeah, you are close. You are, like, on the cusp of gas. So I definitely can understand that. Um, I would probably do, if I were you, I would do CLS into Jedi Knight Luke and then 501st into gas, uh, and get yourself, if you don't already have one, a shock T to go with the 501st before you go in fully on the gas farm. Uh, yeah, so get the shock T up first and the clones. And so then you'll have a really good team going to start. Um, sounds good, Caleb. You have a great day. Can't run the mission or Malgus Proving Grounds. Leia apparently can do it, so you are good. So you will start getting TIE Interceptor Shards soon. So, <clears throat> how many are in the roster after this? I'm not going to count with the rocks you can check. <laughs> um, we are on Ash, if you're looking. Just need 206 Hoda Shards. Oh yeah, that, that won't take you long at all. Um, but, that does take away from your... Uh, from your saving up for gas. So it's kind of up to you which you want to go for. So yeah, if if you want if you are really dead set on gas, 100% go for it. So here here is then if you are going to be dead set on gas and you want to save on those Hoda shards for now, save up your stuff for now. Um and so you finish out your CLS, get them all up to Relic level, get them some good Relic levels. Uh, relic 5 is probably my minimum for the entire team. You can Relic 3 C3PO, honestly, but I still prefer Relic 5 for the whole team. Um, and then get your Shock T first, and then your 501st clones. Uh, and that will allow you to have another team while you're working towards gas. Uh, and then after that i would probably i think that's the last requirement that you have isn't it until you have a uh, the first one done is it just that shock t uh let's see shock t ahsoka tano general kenobi padme and c3po yeah so that is the last one you need anyways and so get yourself a gear 12 shock t um because you don't necessarily need her relic uh you can relic her because she is a requirement for a gl don't necessarily need it right now but I would get Shock T to gear 12, and then I would Relic all your 501st first. Just so that way you have a bumpin' team right now. Uh, and then go straight into getting those droids up. Those droids will feed into your General Grievous team that you already have started. Um, your, what is it called? Your Ventress is already where she needs to be. But start relicking these guys up. Don't relic Droid Dekka, but at least B1. B1 will make it so that the event you can do almost immediately. But I do suggest finishing B2 and Magna Guard too. So, yeah. I, I honestly think don't think gas is going to be a bad farm for you. And I think you're on the solid list. Um, and if you, if you have Leia, yeah... Okay, so how is your BAM? Like, is your BAM not relic at all? No, your Belic, your Belic is rammed. Uh, your your BAM is relic. Uh, <laughs> okay, so you just want to up some relic levels on them. Okay. Yeah. So CLS. Go into gas the way that I talked about. I think upping those relic levels is not going to be a bad thing. Going for the rebel ships and then probably Jedi Knight Luke, JML, and then Profundity. And you're basically hitting the end of the year with the Inquisitors. I think it'll be a great farm for you. So I think you're doing solid work, dude. Um, the one thing I'm a little worried about is your fleets overall. Um, you might have to put some work into your fleets pretty soon. Throw some like relics on Iden Versio and that kind of thing. But I wouldn't worry about it until you start hitting a point where you really can't you know, full clear people's fleets. <clears throat> yeah, 
he is he is definitely the one you want really high relic level and also keep in mind this is one of the things that really makes me feel okay when i'm relicking people is uh um keep in mind bam is relic seven as a requirement for mommy mandalore which means you can not feel bad about relic sevening her so go for it relic her as high as you want as low as you want it's up to you um so i i put mine at relic six personally i like relic five or higher is the sweet spot for me for that fleet uh i'm gonna be putting them up to relic seven very soon for mommy mandalore so relic five sounds great to you for you not to you i'm sure it sounds great to you as well but it sounds great for you uh i'm liking where your mods are at let me take a look and see if there's any characters that i'm like oh you're missing out Okay, here's one right here. I need your first order officer slightly faster than your Hux. You can put it much faster than your Hux, and honestly, it does help a little bit more. But first order officer, at least one faster than your Hux, will help with Jabba counters. Uh, it'll help with uh, Lord Vader counters, which you are about to get Leia, which means you'll have one offensive and one defensive Galactic Legend. You'll have Leia on defense and Supreme Leader Kylo Ren on offense, hopefully. Either way, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren is an offensive Galactic Legend. Offensive powerhouse that helps a ton so first order officer slightly faster than hux <clears throat> sabine ren i would like to see a little faster are you sleeping on your no you're not you have captain rex i would like to see sabine Re uh, ren a little bit faster but it's not hugely necessary because your rex is so fast overall i'm not seeing a whole lot of characters that i'm like ooh, that speed's really bad i would like to see grief karga be of comparable speed to bosk if you want to pull off some really really good stuff with him but that's neither here nor there i know you only have a gear 11 grief car gun so it's not going to be on your radar anytime soon just something to think about um also a side note i would bring uh, malak up to relic 5 tanks are always the people that benefit from high relic levels the most so malak is also a relic 5 i'd do but besides that really the big thing i want to see on your uh mods is just first order officer slightly faster than your hux solid account dude keep going like i i think your plan is solid i don't think there's much i would change oh yeah uh we'll take a look since you guys weren't really here for it uh let's see uh what our opponent did we are on the other account right now hold on <laughs> there we go <laughs> oh is he gonna no show don't no show come on give us the win let us fight fair. We dropped two battles. Uh, yeah, no problem, Ash. Um, one right here, which was just me just underestimating the team. And then the other one was just RNG, and it was the profanity in the back. But the guy had really weak defense, and so it didn't take us much to get through everything, honestly. <clears throat> Diamond Wreckage. Okay, I'm starting to get thirsty. One sec. Diamond Wreckage, are you still in the chat? <clears throat> Currently farming Star Killer. Mara and Talon done. Okay, sweet. Interesting. I don't Star Killer's an interesting farm. We'll have Ben next proving grounds. Just unlocked Malak and Revens recently. Okay. Long farming the Republic Y Wing, thinking gas after Star Killer. Okay. <clears throat> Got it. Okay. Just kind of figuring out where your roster is. Um, Mara and Talon are done, so that means you're waiting on Dash Rendar. On Cash Spendar. Uh, Dash Rendar and. Did Mara Jade. So. The Republic fighter. What is his name? Kyle Katarn. Um, could I interject real quick before you finish Star Killer? Could you please relic this uh, Gear Twelve uh, Wampa? Like this Wampa should be Relic Five or at least Relic Three. At least Relic Three, but please Relic Five him. Relic Five this Wampa first. 
Uh, and then you can come back to Starkiller and 100% go all in on Starkiller. Uh, definitely th something I think you should take a second and do. <clears throat> Captain Rex. Nice. A little interesting because I don't think you have Phoenix in here, do you? You don't. Do you use him uh, with, like, clones or something? Interesting. Okay. Um, you have the Relic 7. Yep. I'm so proud of you for relicking your best car, Mandalorian. I don't see it enough. Thank you so much. I love the fact that you have a Relic Iden Versio. Okay, yeah, I would honestly take a break from Starkiller for a second and get it up. Um, it's definitely up there for priority, like top priority kind of thing. Uh, what do your data grounds look like? Do you have a... You do have a Sidious Cron. I was like, ooh, I see a Sidious at Relic 7. Does he... Yep. Awesome, dude. Oh, I just used this to take down a Malgus today. It was so great. So freaking good, Diamond Wreckage. <clears throat> Glad you got one. Yeah, Logier Phoenix does tons. You're not wrong. Um, I was just surprised to see the Omicron, honestly. Uh, it wasn't so much that Rex was leveled up at all. It was just the Omicron was surprising when you don't have a, like, Relic um, Phoenix. Okay, so... Vampa should be your first thing after you do this, then go into Starkiller. Um, let's take a look at your, kind of, your Galactic Republic and your droids um okay so you're missing some stuff you don't have okay oh do you have c3po even it doesn't look like you even have C oh there's c3po at five stars so you're working on your gonna have to work on your ewoks getting up is always a priority especially with those peepees dude you gotta get those peepees up luckily i don't have that problem To JMLs with Sidious. Heck yeah, that's awesome, dude. I love that so much. Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, what was I about to look for? Oh, I was going to look at your Separatist. Okay, you do have a seven-star General Grievous. Okay, so I get it. Um, honestly, I personally don't think it's the best farm for this account for to, to get gas, but I get it. Gas was my PP. Like, Gas was such a big PP for me, and you know, massive PPs are not bad. Um, this is going to be very far out of your account, but it'll also break you into the Galactic Republic side of the game and give you stuff leading into JMK and uh, Lord Vader. So I can get why you would go for Gas uh, at this point. Do I think it's the best, like, best thing you can do? Probably not. Um, but honestly, you kind of need to break into a side piece of the game regardless. Because you've kind of finished the section of the game that you're in. Um, you have Sith Eternal. You have SLKR. You've kind of finished that stuff. And so the only thing you really share Rex with right now is JML. And even then, your JML stuff is pretty wimpy at the moment. So it's not even that much of a connection with JML. So you're either going to go for Rebels or you're going to go into Galactic Republic. And so you get to choose. And so if you're going to go for gas, as we talked about with our last person, I, I want you to go for Shock T with the 501st first. Uh, Gear 12 Shock T with some Relic 501st. Uh, get yourself a Padme team next. Uh, and then end with a General Grievous and then the droids. The reason you do General Grievous then the droids um, is because of the fact that General Grievous Relic with Gear 7 droids can get you holds and can be a really good just backup team to clear out some guys. So definitely something I would look into if I were you. <clears throat> but yeah, so... Go for gas. It'll get you another fleet, too, which will be huge. Uh, don't sleep on the BTLB. If you're going to go for a Galactic Republic fleet, you need the BTLB ASAP. So the BTLB Y-Wing should be one of your next farms. Uh, let's take a look at your fleets overall. You're getting your Echelon. I love to see it. Um, this fleet is worked on. Galactic Republic Separatist. Uh, your Separatists are fine. Your Rebel Fleet doesn't really matter to me at all, at all at this point. So it looks like you're maximizing your fleets. You're doing good with what you got. I appreciate it. So, yeah, 100%. Dude, go for gas. I don't mind. 
I, I think that's a, an excellent thing for you to do after Starkiller. Um, yeah. So yeah, Wampa, Starkiller, Gas. And I think you're good. Start working on that BTLB now. It's going to take you a long time. I want that BTLB in here ASAP because it's not usable until it's about five, six stars anyways. So. <clears throat> Mythkeeper. Uh, Mythkeeper, I genuinely am not sure where your chat is. Uh, so if you want to throw your ally code in, I'd appreciate it. But because I have no idea where in chat that you put it in. Because this chat is completely full right now. <clears throat> oh yeah, we forgot to look at your mods. So while we're waiting for uh, Mythkeeper, we will take a look at your mods. Sexy. 330 is the sweet spot for Mara Jade. Three thirty-five. Same thing with Piet. You're doing solid, dude. This is a sexy account. I gotta say, a little bit of a mod fall off. It looks like it's a pretty harsh mod fall off. So keep working on your mods, dude. But your top of your roster looks fantastic. Uh, I would like to actually see Resistance Hero Finn higher though, uh, because he's the thing that really keeps you from being able to get Imperial Trooper on your Zori. So I would try to get him up to three hundred to three hundred and thirty. Thank you, Jared. He went to Jared's. <clears throat> Fair enough, Diamond Wreckage. But yeah, I would do it before Starkiller, honestly. Okay, so let's see what your plan was. Did you did you put your plan in here? Farming Executor and Starkiller. Starkiller is a little bit of a weird farm, but I get it if it's a PP. Oh, hi, Mara. Hold on, guys. Mara, come here. For those of you who don't know her, this is Mara Jade. Hi, Mara. This is my poopers. Hi. You're being needy. You're being needy, huh? Uh, okay, so... Honestly, I'd put SLKR on a back burner for a while because... The thing about SL or not SLKR, sorry, Star Killer. I put Star Killer on a uh, on a back burner for a while because you don't really have a place for all of the Star Killer requirements, um, and that's kind of my problem. I love Star Killer in general, and I don't think he's a bad character. It's just you just don't really have the spots open for it quite yet. Um, but if you're full on, if it's your PP, uh, I know you're being needy right now, aren't you? Okay, down. Um, unfortunately, this is going to actually have to be my last one. I do got to get off uh, for work here in the next couple of minutes. Uh, but uh, looking at this, like you have the tray, you have the Savage. I like where you're kind of going with it. The Star Killer, sure, it gives you a GL killer. So, like, if it's a PP, I get it. 100% go all in. Like, PPs should not be ignored. They they're what makes us enjoy the game. Um, and so if I were to give you kind of a idea of where you should go, uh, yeah, exactly what I was going to talk about, Jared. Um, so I think Executor is a great idea. Executor, it's a rough farm to start off, but I think Executor is a fantastic idea. Um, it's going to get you a crystal income. It's going to be great for your roster. But um, you have a Wampa here that could be relicked long before any of your characters for Star Killer. That's immediately going to be one of your best teams. You have a Treya that has the Omicron, and you already have a uh, Savage with the Omicron. Relic that Savage right now. That is another GL killer that you are sleeping on right there. Um, you know, you you have some solid stuff here, and also I can see. A pretty clear path here. Executor and a Sith Eternal, I think, is where you should push. Executor give you crystal income, and then uh, Sith Eternal because not only do you already have some wrecks started like Grand Admiral Thrawn and Darth Vader, uh, you also have this Qui Gon Jinn Omicron, and your Relic Seven Jedi Knight Anakin is a requirement for uh, Sith Eternal. So I think fully, full focusing on uh, Executor, full focusing on Sith Eternal, getting yourself some Imperial Troopers. 
um, making sure you want a relic and you savage relic, I think you have a really good start into that side. Uh, and that will also give you stuff to do proving grounds because you are over that 4 million GP. <clears throat> Star Killer, I get it. If it's a PP, go for it. Like, you don't let some random guy on the internet shame your PP. If you're if you have a little PP, it's fine. No one should shame your PP. Uh, but looking just purely from an efficiency standpoint, like you don't really have a scoundrel team to put your dash with. You don't have a rebel fighter team to put um, with your uh, Kyle Katarn. You don't have. Uh, you do have a Sith team to go with your Talon, and you don't have a Mara Jade team technically, but that doesn't really matter because Mara Jade fits with the team in general. But it's mostly those other two that you're just like you don't really have a team for them. So if it's if it's your PP, I get it, 100%. Go all in. Um, but I want to see the next two relics I would say in this account is Savage and Wampa. And then after you finish Savage and Wampa, go all in on Executor. And then after you finish Executor, go all in on Sith Eternal. And then come back to that Star Killer farm and really push into Star Killer. Uh, and then you'll have a really solid defense with your GL ship. You'll be getting a crystal income every day. Uh, you'll be able to do proving grounds. You'll have a really good offense with your Star Killer and your Sith Eternal. And from there, you can push into a lot of different directions. So that would be my suggestion to you right now. Uh, but it is up to you. If it's a PP, go for Star Killer now. But I still would suggest Executor and Sith Eternal. Your your account is primed and ready for that. So <clears throat> let's take a look at your mods just very briefly. Mara Jade being fast, great. Um, 61 speed is not great, though. So I do want you to work on your mar mods hardcore. Mards. On your mods hardcore. Uh, if you go over to my channel, I've got a mod farming guide that's really, really good. I go over kind of not just how to farm them, uh, but also a, um, a filter that you can use. So that way you can filter your mods and only get good mods, as well as how to not take mods too far. I'd highly suggest going and watching that video. It'll really help because mods are so important in this game. But yeah. Once again, don't let me shame your PP. If you want to go for Seth, uh, Star Killer, go for Star Killer. I get it. <clears throat> uh, as for the rest of you, uh, I do gotta get going for now. Uh, so we're going to. Uh, unfortunately, my outro is not actually big enough for all the stuff that happened today, and I'll be working on trying to find a better way to do that type of thing. But uh, we are going to hit our outro. <laughs> Um, okay. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, I, I would say that the damn sugar daddy is still ADP with his 4295, but it doesn't take into account gifted memberships. And unfortunately that means ADP, you have been knocked out of the lead and I'm going to be adding Joe Coria or however you say his name up on here as a permanent person because he was part of the damn best, which means you are immortalized into the channel. Big thanks to Joe. Uh, big thanks to all of you guys who have become members. Uh, make sure you take advantage of your member perks, including we have a poll every week and you get to guys get to choose what guide or something that you need in the game or want to, you know, have a fun video about. Thank you to all of those that are damn contributors. You guys make this possible. You guys are all awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I will be streaming tomorrow as well to do our Grand Arena a little early.